Right, I think we're on. I think we're running. Oh, it's a nice tree over there. I'm not showing myself yet because I'm not ready for all this. Is that me on that screen over there? Oh my God. Right, hi guys, just waiting for the stream to pick up a little bit. I'll just have you let you have a look at the old uh, Christmas tree, which is going back in the loft tomorrow. Hi guys, have we got one on and then it disappeared. Hey, it's not, it is, isn't it? When's it going back in the loft? Well, there was one on and they've disappeared. Now there's one back on again. <clears throat> we have one in the house. I don't know who it is. Hit that like button, that one person. Oh, it's two on now. Hit that like, please. Who's there? Anybody there? We're on telly, look. <laughs> it's me, Donnie. Donnie's on. Well, that's one. She's not giving me a like yet, though. I'm just going to flick the screen for a minute. Right. Hi, guys. Who's on here? Crepey Explores. Oi, oi, oi. Savaloi. Oi, oi, Savaloi. I just put my glasses on. Oh, God, what's happened here? You're all upside down. Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's better. Ah, uh, shit. Right. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Dawn is on the comments for me. We're just letting it pick up a little bit. We've got three. I don't, I don't usually have these glasses. These are my cheap and nasty ones. They're horrible. I don't think I need my glasses yet. Didn't get up today till 2.30 in the afternoon. Nice. Nice one. There's Dawny over there. I can't see the comment box. Dawn's over there somewhere. What? Well, that's the delay on the telly, isn't it? Yeah, look. Bit of a delay on the telly. Yeah. Hi guys, we have four what, four in the house and one like. I don't know who we got on here. Tom's on here. Dawn's on here, obviously. Keeping in control of all the... Got to bed at four and bloody hell. Every up new video is up and move. Oh, good. Nice one. I could check that out. <clears throat> That's good, Tom. Busy night, eh? Bloody hell. You did do well. 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> What's good though? Nice house. I like that. Brilliant house, wasn't it? I'll try and catch us. I'll try and get us both in the stream here. Give us a wave. <laughs> Hello. All <laughs> oh, right, brilliant. On the main video, that's good. Shame about them uh, batteries dying, wasn't it? Bugger. It's always the way though. You get all prepared and you think, oh, everything's gonna be okay. And then... Hello. 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 He's going, he's going, hello. Tom's going, hello. hello. We have four and only one like. Come on, hit that like button, guys. Uh, piss tape, but I, found, but I found the bats. No. Where are the bats in there? Oh, I had bats. I hate them. I had bats in the old farmhouse where I keep going back to. Are screaming? Until someone knocked, went like, put the balls out the windows. <laughs> And they've just gone and disappeared. No batteries or shit. That's bugger, isn't it? That ain't good, Tom. Never mind, mate. It's always the ruddy way, isn't it? I've had a camcorder got set up for a Ouija board once in that old farmhouse. Got it all set up just right. Tried tripod, all set up, everything. <clears throat> went to turn it on. And after a couple of minutes, the batteries, just a brand new charged battery in the camcorder, and it just went dead. Uh, ruined that idea. So... It's weird, if there's something there, it's going to use the power, isn't it? It's going to use the energy, if it has to. We've got two likes, good. While watching and two like, hit that like button, guys. Oh, if you I like it. Them. Eh? He found the batteries after live stream. Oh, bats, you meant batteries. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, meant, I thought you meant bats. I meant batteries, I found them. Oh, after live shit. Did you have them in your bag or something then? You had them with you then, obviously. That's a bit crap, isn't it? What bugger? Oh, damn. That's so annoying, isn't it? I know, I know the feeling, Tom. It's, it's not good. Bless you. I'm just going to show you. I'm just messing about with the camera. Oh, hang on. LS, SLS bag. Oh, God. In the SLS bag. That's a bugger. Just showing the tree, just in case you haven't seen the tree. I think you have. I'll just show you a few bit. I'll just show you around the room a little bit. Some mad ornaments that we've uh, 
I don't want that inside that, so. That's what Dawn's done on the Dawn's bits. That's one of Dawn's bits there. That's one of my bits. And that's Dawn's bits. Um, that's a nice old rustic heart that I made. I'm <laughs> just borrowing, borrowing you with all this crap. Um, a lot of it's been put away actually at the moment. Just a few bits and pieces here and there. Jane says hello. Who's that? I missed the comments. Who said? Oh? Jane says hello. Oh, oh, Jade, sorry, I didn't know what you were saying. Hi, Jade. Get me gone. Hey? Get me gone. Get you gone. That's another little... Um... Hi, Jade. Welcome to the stream. I'm just uh, showing some bits of rubbish on here. Well, it's not rubbish, actually. This is really good. This is one of Dawn's jars here, but she's uh, decoupaged. It's coming off. Is that sticky on there? Is that? <clears throat> it's another little effort, well, mainly Dawn's effort. A little heart thing that we made, rustic heart, and that little um, this little bit here, the old um, what do you call it? What are they called now? What? The frame. It was a mirror. Ah. Yeah, but what was the bit behind? What are they called? Easel. Easel, that's it. Couldn't think of the word. A little homemade easel I done out of old uh, old floorboard wood. That that was and made it look really old and uh, yeah, that's that. Anyway. I've got some there's some gear around. I'm going to show you this very soon. This lot, all this rubbish. <laughs> but we'll come back to that in a minute when it picks up a bit. We'll get a few more people on, and uh, I'll show you the um, some of the paranormal gear, exploring bits and pieces that I've uh, dug out on the bags. <laughs> yeah, so you've all been busy, eh? We've only got three watching now. So one's disappeared. Only two likes, so I don't know, someone's just checking us out. Let's see who we are, I think. Three likes. We've got three likes, have we? Yeah. Oh, I've only got two on there. Shall we? Did you see yeah, so, um, stream? He did this today. He's not a good bird Did you see Rogue's stream? Oh, yeah. We saw that last, we watched it last night, didn't we? I oh, know, bless him. Bless him, he's not good. Uh, feeling a bit crap, isn't he, I think, at the moment. I think everything's getting to him. Gets you on top. Gets on top here this time of year anyway, doesn't it? Best of times. So, um, yeah, bless him. Poor old Brian. I hope he'll join us tonight. I did uh, send a quick message, I think. <clears throat> yeah, it's not good at all. <laughs> He's being a bit naughty on there, wasn't he? Naughty Brian. I can hear neighbours. Noisy neighbours. Anyway, um... Bless him. Oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> Bless his cotton socks. You were saying, buddy, I meant I support him. I've got to get these silly glasses on. Shouldn't have said things he was... Oh, no, he, should, no, he was a bit over the top. Being a bit naughty, wasn't he? Swearing a bit and slagging people off a bit, but it's it's what... <coughs> that's how he felt at the time. I mean, if he watches this, we're not having a go at you, Brian, but I know how you feel. But uh, you've got to be careful because you might get banned from YouTube. And we can't be having that. No, we can't be having that at all. Can't be banned. Can't be having it. So um, be careful, Bri um, yeah, Brian, because YouTube might might be a bit funny about it all, or I someone might can someone might put a complaint and get you banned. So be careful, Brian, because we we like you on here. We don't want to we don't do. want you to disappear. We need to support him. Best no, just have anyway. to behave a little bit. <laughs> behave yourself, okay? I will smack your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Smack his bum. You can't help it. It's just it's not, not a good, good place, is it? Blessing. I know it's hard. But, uh, just got to be careful, Brian, what you say, that's all. You'll have a go at me now because I'm, I'm, I'm dictating. I'm not dictating at all. I know. I know what you're but like. listen, if he hasn't got nobody else to no. express himself to, he's going to do it, isn't he, bless him? Yeah. You know, that's why I shout and ball at you. <laughs> she shouts and balls at me all the time. No, I don't. Shaky boggers. I Can don't. I turn this light off? I don't like it. It's like I've been right in a spotlight here. Put it off. I'm just going to turn this light off, guys. Hang on. Um, blah, blah, blah. Going, I'm going to be dizzy here. Turn that light down a bit. That's better. <clears throat> There you go, right, that's a little bit better. I've got the other light on up that end. Um, 
There's a table full of uh, gadgets over there. I've only got two lights up on here. I don't know what's going on with this. Yeah, so poor old Brian, you'll get through it. Hopefully, mate, you should be all right. You'll get there. Just got to try not to swear too much because YouTube won't like it. <laughs> so, um, so what you been up to? Um, who else is on there? So it's just three of us watching now. It's only three on. That's bad, isn't it? Three, uh, yeah, bro, we all love you, bro. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian is what. Hopefully, buddy. You love him to bits, he says. It's a rookie. Hope he don't. That's a bit wrong, but... Wrap his dong out. Don't get your dong out, no. You will get us... He kept, he kept threatening us with it. Yeah. Kept trying to get his dong out. You'll get an instant ban then. They won't like that. <clears throat> I'm scared for that. <laughs> that was mad, wasn't it? Bless him. Dawn's kept taking control of the comments over there on the laptop, like, as you can see. Dawny, where are you? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. I can't see hello. one. I can see it on the telly now. That, that's a much, much better, isn't it? Yeah, I can see himself on the telly as well. I must be, I must be a, some sort of TV star. <laughs> You're a TV star? I must be on the yeah. telly. I can see myself over there. Look, what's it look like looking at the telly through? Hang on, let me just um, flick this a minute. Oh, that's oh, weird, isn't it? Look, I can see myself on there. That's crazy. I don't like that. Well, I thought I'd just try that anyway. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? Um, turn it in full Monty on YouTube. <laughs> turn it in full Monty. Who, me? Or, or Brian? <laughs> oi, oi, lo, lo. Hello. Oi, oi, sabaloi. That's what my neighbours think I'm shouting at them. <laughs> oi, oi, sabaloi. Bloody hell. So come on, where's, where's all these uh, watchers? I know there's um, a couple of other streams on tonight as well. Uh, one's on, actually. I think one's on about 8.30. So... Another paranormal channel. Oh, we got here now. Spaghetti Noodle Chop. That's a mad name, isn't it? Hi, Spaghetti Noodle Chop. Glad you can join us. Five in the house and three likes. Get your like there, yes. Hey, Chop. Chop, Chop. Hit that like button, Chop, Chop. <laughs> chop, Chop, Chop. I'm doing fine. What is your name? What's your real name, by the way? It's not Chop, is it? <laughs> Fish and Chip Chop. Fish and Chip Chop. Chop. Oi, oi, Chop Chop. Oi, oi, Chop Chop. <laughs> Who said that? Me. Tom. Oi, oi, Chop Chop. Oh, my God. Nick. Hi, Nick. Sweaty Noodle Chop Chop. My name is Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, new subscriber, BJB. Hi, BJB. Ah, BJB, I think I've heard of that one. Are you, um, are you an explorer or a paranator of some sort? Or what are you into? What's your channel, BJB? Anyway, thanks for subscribing. I don't know what that other comment was there. Found you, lol. <laughs> so, still tired, me, ha. Huh? I'm not, not surprised, Tom. You've been knackered. All that. Some of them hot dogs that's making you tired. That's what it is. Too many hot dogs, mate. <laughs> What's that? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Jay. Jay, Mason, I subscribe to you, love. Is that BRB? Oh, or to you? I don't know. Oh, to you. I don't know. Uh, I'm screaming. I'm them in the eyes here. I don't like it. Oh, I need your food. That herbit's gone. Oh. <laughs> you need your food. I'm not surprised. You need it. You've got to have your food. Uh, what's going on here? Jay, subscribe to you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's me or what? Or BJB, I think. Hopefully going to go and investigate. So, oh, yeah, brilliant. Where are you going, BJB? Where are you, actually, where are you based? Why my teeth all shiny on this video? <laughs> where are you based, BJB? If I... 
Uh, my channel is comedy. All right, that's spaghetti chop. Spaghetti noodle chops, comedy. Nice one. And uh, subscribe to you, Ricky. Oh, thanks, thanks, Jade. Cheers, thank you. So she subscribed to me. Thanks for that. Thanks very much. Hang on. I've got to put these glasses on the right way up. That's better. Now I can see you properly. <laughs> Oh, oh, awesome. Chubby chop chop. Chubby chop chop. Chubby chop chop. Chubby chop chop. Get a move on. The work nights and live in Lincolnshire. Another one in Lincolnshire. Why are you all upside down again? What is going on here? Oh, that's better. Oh, I can see God. you now. We're all upside down. What's going on? <laughs> are you upside down over there? N nah. I'm missing the comment. What's his comment saying? Where does, um, sorry, BJB, you're in Lincolnshire. What sort of channel do you do then? What's, what are you running? Hi, Dan. Dan, hi, Cottage. Hello, Hello Dan. <coughs> Dan, the man, is on. Dan is in the house, everybody. I don't know why I'm shouting so loud. It's like going in there. Yeah, I'll have to be quiet. Cheers, Dan. Nice to see you, mate. Wait, Tom. Howdy, folks. <laughs> I can't read the top comments. I'll flick down here. Are you both okay, love? Are you? Oh, 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 hang on. The comments are going mad here. I'm just trying to flick without getting my hand in the way of it all. Uh, hello, Dan. Oh, it's a What's that? Ethan's watching too. Oh, hello, Ethan. Bless you. It's just, just mad Ricky and Dawny on here. Well, not, Dawny's not so mad. She's quite quite normal, really. I'm a bit yeah. crazy sometimes. I have moments, don't I? Hi, Ethan. Nice to see you on here. Oh, I wonder if there's... Um, I've got a shout-out to do for a, a local lad that um, caught me at work the other day and said... Uh, it's a little lad come up. Well, it's a teenager. Young, well, they should take it about maybe 12, 14. I don't know. Don't. Anyway, young lad and his mate came up to me the other day while I was at work. And he said, you, 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 you're a YouTuber, aren't you? Or something like that, words to that effect. I said, yeah, how do you know that then? He said, I've seen you. Oh, that's nice. Uh, my first recognition outside of YouTube out in public. This lad had recognised me on YouTube. I don't know where from. I didn't ask him the question, but him and his mate... Uh, Gonna sub. I think I think one of them subbed. I've got to do a shout out for him. I'm gonna wait till he comes on. I'm not sure if he's on it yet. Hopefully he's not forgotten. And when he comes on, I'll have to do a little shout out for him. Bless him. He lives locally to us. Um, he lives about three miles from where we are. So I'll do a shout out for him when he comes on. But yeah, nice to be recognised. I know it's only like a young lad, and it's not. You know what I mean? It's the start, isn't it? Ethan watching. Sub to you also. To Dan. Brilliant. You right, Dan? <clears throat> I've got some paranormal equipment set out on the table. I'm just going to have a quick flicker through that to show you some bits of bits and pieces that I've got. Some of the bits that I take out with me on a ba uh, regular basis and some, some bits I don't. Some are just spares or some bits I keep in the bag for emergencies. So I'll get them out. <clears throat> well, I'll show you them. I'll show you them What's in a bit. Who? What's BJB's name? BJB, was it Nick? No. Oh, was that Spaghetti? Spaghetti that... BJB, are you still on here? Yeah. I've only got four likes, everyone, and I've got nine watching. Nine in the house. Hit that like button, guys. Button. Keep YouTube happy. Can you hit that like button, please? Cheers, guys. Hit that like button. I'm just going to flick off of me for a minute. Take there. There's a tree. <laughs> um, yeah, hang on, let's go back on me for a minute. You don't really want to see the tree. You don't really want to see me, really. But <laughs> yeah, um, BJB. Is it BJB? Yeah. What's your name, BJB? What's your real name? You can let us know. Actually, we're still on. It's got nine in the house. Oh, we've got eight likes now. Good, we're getting there. Cheers, guys. Can you get us another like on there? We've got nine watching and eight <laughs> likes. 
What's that? It's up to you. It keeps coming up the same message here. It keeps repeating. Ethan watching. Why is it showing the same ones? Oh, I'm missing half the comments aren't coming up on here. I've missed half of them. I'm okay, thanks, Trina. Ethan. Oh, sleep. He watched me long enough. He'll soon fall asleep. <laughs> so, hard work. Yeah, anyway, I love her. Now I'm watching Nine Lights. Yeah, that's better. Cheers, guys. Getting inspired by young guys. Yeah, I know. BJB. I hope so. I hope it inspires them to do more and they can get on YouTube and start early. It's good. Oh, I was expecting to see baby. you stumbling around the dark cemetery, mate. Oh, I did think of that. I tried that the other night and I didn't. I tried actually in Leeds, well, the outskirts of Leeds. <clears throat> dropped Dawn off to see a, a lad. Or lads. You see. My mummy. And the mummy. Dropped her off the other day and tried to do a live from the cemetery there, but I just couldn't get it. Um, Tom was watching, I think, at the oh, time. Oh, Eh? Hey? Hey, what? Is he on? Oh, I'll do a shout for him in a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, I tried to do a live stream from the cemetery, Dan, and it all went wrong. As soon as I walked in, just I got about two yards through this spooky old gate, and it kept dying on me, so I had to come back and back towards the road. I ended up sitting in the car. I think it's like the last live stream that's on there, actually. And done the rest of the little chat. It's a bit really lagging bad at the start of it. After about 10 minutes, it settles down, and I'm just doing a little chat in the car in the end. But yeah, it was supposed to be a, a creepy cemetery live, but this uh, signal was crap, so I had to knock that on the head and just carried on in the car in a quick chat. Probably two minutes later, that was it. <laughs> but it was good, it was alright, it's worth watching, I think. Bit of a laugh. Um, so my next live out, I think, is going to be somewhere spooky anyway. Anyway, let me just do this. Um, Somewhere else, cemetery, just catching up on the comment. Hang on. Oh, creepy, creepy. Oh, yeah. Creepy spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers. BJB. Still don't know what BJB's name is, do we? Bev. Who? Bev. Bev. Yeah. Bev. Bev, I think Beverly. Bev. BV. Hi, Bev. BJB. Hi, Bev. How does strange things happen at work, but allowed to not allowed to film there? What sort of place do you work then, Bev? Oh, God, thanks, mate. Who's it? I'm not sure who's talking to who I'm here. You're right, Dan. You need to get an SLS can. Bro. SLS can. I've got the SLS bits, I've got them on the table over there, but I need to what I need to know is what's um little um screen I can use, the best screen to use or I think it has to have a decent memory and all that on it, don't it? I think. I've got an old huddle. Do you know the old Tesco's huddles? I've got one of them, but I'm not sure if that's Decent enough to do the job. I don't know if you know about them. Um, I'll bring mine when I meet up. Need a loan for... Need a loan for batteries. Yeah, are now. Smash that like button. It's going up a bit, isn't it? We've got nine watching and ten likes. And ten likes. Oh, oh, that's a bit bad. That's, I'm trying to find... Um... There it's Billy. <coughs> hey, up. All right, Billy. Billy Hoyland's in the house. Right, this is, uh, got to do a shout out for Billy Hoyland. He was a lad that I um, met outside work the other day. Recognised me from YouTube. Right, Billy. Um, is your mates about? Any of your mates watching? Hey, Billy. Billy. You're right, Billy. You're only a few miles away. I'm going to have to check out that... Um, I don't want to shout. I'm going to have to check out that um, abandoned building you told me about, which is not too far from you, I believe. I'll go see if I can find it. Don't give it away on here. Don't tell anyone where it is because, obviously, it's an explorer's secret. You can't let things go in public. <laughs> you can't let the secrets out, but I'll try and find it anyway. Rayleigh's not a, Briley, you say it, it's not a, a big place, is it? So I should be able to find it. Um, yeah, if you can give me a clue if it's like near any other buildings, any like special buildings like a church or anything like that, let us know and I'll try and find it. If it's any noise, if any shops are near this house that I might recognise, can you let me know and I'll try and find it that way. But don't, don't give any street names away because the police, police might be watching. <laughs> I don't want to be caught. 
No, we don't break into anywhere. If it's open, we'll go in, but we don't break into any places or anything like that. So if I can't get in, I won't get in. You know what I mean? If it's open, I'll get in, but... But cheers, Billy, anyway. Thanks, and I'm glad you can join me. Join this match. It's only an indoor stream. So, uh, they're not all like this. That's my partner over there. That's Dorney. So, um... Yeah, Stop Billy. Me on there. Hey, what? Stop me on there. I'm just that showing, right you, showing you really quick. Stop that right now. I'll, uh, hold up, you're going into a cemetery. Am I? No, no, it's not a cemetery. Well, not tonight anyway. I might be doing another one at Wentworth again. Picks up the signal, picks up really well there, and it is a really spooky place. And I try. I'm going to try another place in Wentworth. Uh, Wentworth uh, Woodhouse. There's some old, like, spooky dormitories over that way, which I have been in and had done a quick video before in there. I might try and get a signal in there if I can. Uh, I feel I'm missing all these comments. <coughs> hi, Billy. Everyone's saying hi, Billy. Uh, let's just put these glasses back on again. Sorry about this. I was meant to be out in the cemetery tonight, mate, but it's freezing. I oh, know, it's crap, isn't it? Crap, damn. Jade, be back on later. Okay. All right, Jade. See you later. It's cold here too. Just catching up. Uh, Jade. Uh -huh. Oh, no, it's crap. <clears throat> I want you to go out. The wind is bad, isn't it? I've been working so many hours this week. I ain't even got around to doing any videos. I've got so much editing to do. I've been doing all these little clips. That's why I've been going on live. It's so much easier. Just getting lives on at the moment. I ain't had time to do any editing in that little um little explore we done in the farmhouse, Dan. That's still that's still on my camera. Still on the SD card. I haven't even loaded that yet. Just it's been a bloody crazy nightmare. <sighs> so many working hours. I ain't had time. I will. Working Tuesday now, but you're not supposed to go. Yeah, I've got work Monday and Tuesday now. Because someone's pulled out of Tuesday working time. So um I felt sorry for him, so I said I'll do it for him. I don't know why, really. Actually, on Tuesday, I'm going to do a shift swap, so I'll get Wednesday off, so it's not too bad. So I'm in Monday, and then I'm in Tuesday. Support autistic adults now used to work in old-type care homes at night. Oh, spooky. Spooky places, care Arbin and some abandoned care homes. Oh, there they are, crazy places. Um... I shoot tomorrow's mate, my use tablet as long as you can. What's that saying? I'll message you tomorrow's to make mine. What what make mine is I alright. Tablet as long as you can load the settings. I've got settings. I've got the settings on my laptop for my SLS already. I've, we've had it running in here, the old SLS Tom. Um and I've got the settings on that. Bit of a nightmare trying to find them. I've got settings on the laptop, but obviously I'd have to set them on the new tablet. But yeah, let us know what tablet it is and I'll try and get hold of one. A lot of people use second-hand ones when they build them and sell them, don't they? But there's a good computer shop near us, and maybe I'll get some advice from them on the cheap one. If they've got any. Um, I thought I'm missing some of these comments. I think Android, Android tablets, I would say they're the best. To get all the settings. Other thing. My Huddle, Tesco Huddle is an Android, but I'm not sure if it's got a big enough memory to to work it really. They're only cheap and nasty than things. Milford Church is Standish, not abandoned, but it's old shit though. Cheers, Tom. That sounds good. Um Billy Holland, I don't know, mate. What's the I don't know what's being asked here. Look on Google, Dawn, you will see it. What's that? Hi, Billy. Later, thank you. I don't know what's who's answering my head. <laughs> what's going on? What are you looking for Google for? Is that you? No? What? Is that for the... It's lagging, it's just it's phasing me. What's lagging? It's laptop. <laughs> the laptop's lagging, but the phone's not. <laughs> We're right on here, mate. Don't we? Uh, later, thank you for that. Oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm reading my own comments. Well, Dawn's comments. I'm still sitting on the camera. You're still sitting on the camera, I know. 
I won't want to get it on. I've got, I think I've got four parts to that, um, that video in the house, Dan. I'm thinking I might, because I can't edit it at the moment. I'm having trouble with the editing problems because my, my laptop's so full of crap, and photos and videos, and I'm trying to get them all out of the way. I don't have time to do any of it. So what I might do is try and put the videos on in the parts as they are. So like a part one, part two, part three, and part four, maybe. What do you think of that? Do you think that'd be all right, Dan? Because if someone's going to watch them, they're going to watch them anyway, aren't they? So, so I could load them in parts as they are, and then just do, do it like that. Same here, mate. Mine is... Oh, I read that bit. The uh, main video, it's a long one. Hope you guys like the main video. It's a longer one than usual, but only so much I can cram in six hours. Ah, I'm looking forward to that, Tom. That'd be good. Yeah, we're, we're going to watch that. We'll watch that maybe tonight or tomorrow. Love watching them. I did all my problem. Thank you. I need to get my finger out. Bloody hell. I've got so much. I've got stuff from Newcastle. We went up there. And I've got stuff. So, well, I went into this old rock in the sea. Like a cave in the sea. And filmed all that. I've got all that footage to do yet. There's loads of stuff from around there. Uh, Marsden Grotto. You heard of that, Dan? You might have heard of that. Tom might have heard of it even as well. Uh, Marsden Grotto in... Um, not Sunderland, is it? It's Sunderland, mate, Marston Grotto. It's between Newcastle and Sunderland, anyway, on the coast there. It's near Gatling. Um, um, Marston Grotto, anyway, we went in there and filmed in there, let us film in there. That, there used to be a lot of ghost hunts there, but the new ownership, new people in there don't like it, so they don't believe in it, so they've stopped all that. But I went around and had a little quick scout round with my camera, my video camera in there, and done that, and um, got some footage in there. I've got all this, loads of stuff to catch up on. Um, I can't remember where else I've been. I've done, oh, I've done, I've done this. It's, I say it's a temple, but it's not a temple. There was a small temple there, actually, <coughs> just outside Leeds. I'll, I'll mention it anyway, because it doesn't matter if I mention this place. It's not abandoned. It's called Temple Newsom. I have got in there and done the main building, videoed in there, and they wouldn't let us put lights on the, on the camera, on the video camera. Couldn't use lights, couldn't use torches, because there's... The sensitivity of all the of the old fabrics in the building and all that and uh the old paintings that are worth like millions on these paintings that's a haunted well known haunted place it's uh the blue lady haunts that as one of the, the ingram family the woman she was chucked down a drain in this place years and years ago because he wouldn't um she didn't want no nothing to do with this i think was it servant or someone i can't think now but someone approached her in the house and she didn't want to know basically and she got chucked down the well. Um, so her body is still in there to this day, apparently, in the well. I think the well's been covered over now. It's that showed an area of it, like it's concreted over. But we went down this tunnel under, under the, new, the main fort, that courtyard at the front. It's like three, three big blocks. And it's got a little farm area opposite, uh, to the side of it and all that. And we went through the tunnels underneath. Uh, it must go maybe like two, three hundred yards across. We went down there, that was creepy. Couldn't put the lights on. Well, I did put the light, I did say, I was all right to put lights on, there's obviously no paintings down there. So he let me put the light on down there for a bit. So I've got some footage down there. I've got, so I've got all that footage to go on on the video yet. I've got loads of bits and pieces to go on, but just, made, just trying to get time to do it all. I just met creepy moderator, just down on a big one, just in case. Who's what? I'm just like down and not. Dan, I'm make Dan's Haughty mod. Cottage. I've just made creepy one. Tom's, Tom's a moderator now then. Does Dan want to be one? <laughs> Dan, do you want to be a moderator on the channel? Just in case. We like some good, top responsible people, so you, you've got to be on that. <laughs> I don't know. These glasses are right. They look a bit weird, don't they? I hate wearing glasses. I never really need them for reading. Oh, Billy's still on. You're still here, Billy. It's like it's going down a bit. It's gone down to seven. Watch it now. All right. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Is Dan still there? I knew he'd be there somewhere. I'm missing half these comments. Dan, hello. So do I. I've been lazy. Watched a bit. Of, uh, what? Let's just Dan before coming on here. Oh, thank you for my 
Lattice, what? I don't know what that, what that meant. Latest. Latest. Thank you for my shout out. That's all right, Billy. You're welcome, mate. Spread the channel around. Tell your mates, tell them to check out my channel. Your schoolmates, whoever, teachers, anyone. And I'll, I'll bring you some great exploring soon and some paranormal stuff coming up soon, very soon. There'll be quite a bit coming up. Um, yeah. I'll, quick, I'll quickly show you some of this paranormal gear. I'm not going to mention it all yet, but it's just some of my stuff, in case anyone gets bored quick. <laughs> I'll show you all these bits in a minute. There's my, there's my, uh, my uh, thingy sensor, Xbox 360 sensor there, Tom. Shall I just run around this for a little while? I might as well. You'll have to do the comments because I can't read it all the moment. My rant dawn. Just don't want to be a... What? Just don't want to be... Just don't want to be a... Sorry. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Is it all right with that? <laughs> right, anyway, there's my camera. My camera with a new... Meow! Got a new pussy cat, Or is it a black rat? I think we've got a black rat on my new Canon camera there, sitting there. That's another one. God. That's another dead cat thing, whatever they call them, for the mic. But I've got that one on. That's one I adapted. It's not a proper one, but I think it's going to work. That's a uh, trial and error. Um, I wonder why I'm not getting the... I'm not getting the latest things up. Right, I think I'm up with the comments now. Okay, yep, yeah, that's... Um... Hi, Natalie! Hi! Oh, shit, not that over now. Hi, Natalie, glad you can join us. I've just... Uh... Gone to my table to start showing some of my paranormal gear and stuff here. Uh, this light for filming if a large room doesn't really bright. Yeah, I know. I've got this light. I'll show you my light. Hang on, go back. I've got this light, Tom. That's my light that I use, and this is brilliant. Oh, yeah, this is excellent. I mean, I'll try not to blind everyone, but that, that's a, it is bright. It's massive. I don't want to blind it and face straight at the camera on this because you'll. You won't like that. It's, uh, I'm trying to see, oh, it's not got a make on it. Eh? Oh, right. That's the make. There you go. CNG. From China. Battery, obviously, battery operated. That is brilliant for big places, Tom. That is excellent. That's the batteries it takes. I've got, um, I bought them on, bought them off uh, Amazon actually. I've got a couple of spare batteries as well with them. That's my battery, obviously, spare backup pack. Right, that is called the Make. There you go. CNG. I think it. I'll show it again in case you. 126. That's 126 LED, that one, mate. Uh, 126, there's the camcorder. My little... Um, what's what called again? He's asking... Tom's asking what what's called. Yeah, I know, I just, I just said it. It's CNG, Tom. CNG, and it's of Amazon, and I think it was about 20 quid, wasn't it? Somewhere, it weren't far off 20 quid, anyway. Um... Yeah, Amazon, I found that. Don't get them on eBay, because sometimes you don't get them. I've got this little one, which is okay for smaller rooms, but it's not good for bigger places on the cannon here. That's good for little little areas, which I bought. That is the newer make, which are quite popular. That was only about a tenner, I think, the other day. I only bought that. Well, I bought that. I bought this one a couple of weeks ago. I bet it's about 10 quid, 12 quid. Somewhere around that. That was about 20 quid. The CNG. Obviously got the IR light on there. I've got my battery pack. Battery pack strapped to that. I've had to rearrange this. I've been using it to put my phone on as well. So I've had to rearrange some little bits and pieces on it. Make it a bit longer so I can get the phone on when I need it. When I'm doing the lives. So yeah. Need to sort that out a little bit. Natalie wants to be a moderator. <laughs> Bless her, she's on here a lot, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, of course she can. Mine is sorted in my holder. Oh, oh. the uh, wishes <clears throat> my command. She's done. 
Hang on, I'll just flick. Your wish, what? Your wish is her command. Your wish is my command. Your wish is her command. <laughs> Dawn's, Dawn's on the laptop doing the, um, she's in control of the comments. All right. <laughs> there you go. She's a mod. I want to be a mod. Hey? I want to be one. You want to be. Do I have to do that then? <laughs> you, can, you will be a mod. You can, you're control, you can still be in control of all that. Anyway, back to this a minute. Yeah, so that's my grip, which is really comfy. I love this grip. I had to, I had to cut my wires the other day. I accidentally cut through the wire. I was trying to cut a tie clip off and cut through the bloody wire. Anyway. Uh, hi, Awesome Epic Adventures. Please, nice to see you on air. Please, you can join us. That's obviously the battery pack, which I've ended up gluing on. And I've got some straps, just in case, to hold it. Um, obviously, that that's all on there. So that's that. You see my main camera, isn't there? So that's that's my mic. I've got a Rode microphone on there. Obviously, that's my bag, and that's another bag for spares, which is not that interesting. So, oh my god, that's fallen down now. All right, just flick through this. Sorry about it, it's a bit jumpy here. That's me up. This is the camera. Dan, you'll recognize this one. This camcorder here. I haven't used it yet. But that was a gift from Dan. Bless him. Really appreciate that. I won't use it. I'm going to use it in daytime. I mean, actually, it probably actually worked really well with the lights, but I'm going to use that as a backup light for um, staking out somewhere in another room while I'm videoing in one room. I can stack that up and use it in another room. There's my haunted doll, little haunted doll. Anyway, this that's the camera that Dan's haunted cottage kindly gave to me, which is I uh, much appreciate that, Dan. That's excellent. But I'm looking forward to using that. That was going to be my that when he came and visited last. <laughs> yes, mate, I recognise that one. I'm looking after it for you. If you need it back, you know I me. Mean? You can have it back if you need it. But I haven't used it yet. But I'm looking forward to using it. It'd be, it'd be great. Be careful. Yeah. Tom's asking when when I'm on Amazon, mate. What do you type in? I've tried CMG Live. Um, Nothing coming up, pal. Put in, just put in one in one two six LED camera light. Try that. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably heard that anyway. Yeah. One two six LED camera light. I think that's what I originally searching, and it'll bring up a list of stuff, and then you'll find the make. Now I think there's a newer make. Tell him there's a newer make. I'm going to share right into this phone for. There's a newer make, which is very similar. I think it is a different company label on it. That's all. But I think it's the newer one is. 126 LED as well. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this one, this camera here next to the Haunted Doll, is my hunting camera. You can set that to go off at night time. Um, obviously, you've got a IR light built into that, picks up at night and daytime. She is that she wasn't allowed in here for months. Who's that? The doll. Someone's not in there. I'm reading the comments here. Yeah, that's my hunting camera. What do you use the fidget spinner for? Oh, um, it's a that's a trigger object. Sorry. Let's go back down. I'll just run over. All right. That's that camera. We've done that. That's my, that's my video recorder. That's the camcorder that Dan gave me. Thanks, Dan. That's my hunting camera, which I haven't used out in a paranormal place yet. We, um, I did try setting it up in my loft, but because um, we had some noises, weird noises going on, but I don't think I picked anything up. Oh shit, what? Then that said, oh shit, what? What's happened? Anyway, yeah, fidget spinner. That's for um, that's good. That's used as a trigger. These are all trigger objects here. We've got the bell. I've got little bells, little bit ringy bells here. Obviously them, them little things. We've got old keys. Just as trigger. That one's not that old. I don't know. I put that in there. They're old keys there. Um, some protection, like obviously crucifixes that they've got the balls, but light up when they want to light up. I don't always light up. That one, they're, they're just What's that in the kit? typical. They don't go when you want them to. These balls, my balls are banging. I can't help it, my balls are banging. <laughs> you silly bugger. <laughs> you, you didn't hear that. Pocket price of Bible for trigger objects. <laughs> yeah. 
trigger up. Now these are live. They're more. They're more for protection. Them too. They're not trigger objects. We can have them. Now they're they're protection. Um, I've got a little bag here of uh, white sage for protection. I've got black obsidian. Little stone there for protection. That's a uh, black obsidian as well. They call them an arrowhead. That's all protection. Obviously, that's protection. These are trigger objects. That's 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 more for protection and luck, really. If you believe in all that, um, yeah, that's trigger object. They're trigger objects when they work. They do work when you when they've dropped hard enough or rolled along. <coughs> Might be the batteries going on. And I've got another one of them somewhere. <coughs> Sorry, I heard low. What did you say? <laughs> Asking what you said. Is that what you said? Yeah, they're, they're trigger objects, obviously. Um, these sweets, I've got these. Actually, I found these. I found these at work in the car park. That was a, oh, yeah, I got them as well. But these Palmer Violets, I've, I've, I save them and take them to this uh, Hoot and Pagnall when I explore there because that's the smell I could smell when I first went into this old uh, spooky tower next to the graveyard. So since then, I've always took them with me as a like a hopefully you'll be a trigger object to bring that smell back again but yeah i smell this it smelled like perfumey but it was the smell of these like palma violet smell so i'll take them with me just to try and trigger things really me and jay going to look at paranormal stuff tonight for our anniversary oh brilliant that's good nice one tom uh obviously that's the k2 meter i don't know if we've got anything in here that's just setting up any spirits in here with us tonight? Do you want to make the lights flash? We had some activity on some um, dowsing rods earlier. Where he was asking questions. And we had apparently, according to the dowsing rod movement, we had five spirits in here that are related to us. Yeah, that's the K2. Yeah, we use the dowsing rods, which are there. There's my dowsing rods. They're good. You get used to using them, they're good. Where did you get the K2 stand body? I made it. I made it. It's myself, mate. I made it. I have made it at one of these. All I've done at the moment is just strapped it on. I did make a better one than this. It's just strapped on with like a hair grip thing. And it just it wedges on just nice there. It's just like a phone holder, cheap phone holder from, was it B&M? No, it won't be an m was it? Tesco's, I think, actually. From Tesco's. Obviously, that's a, it's, I've got a load of these now. I bought a bit. I bought a batch of them because they're so handy. It's just a phone holding it with a, a, a hair thing stuck on it. But I, I did make another one, and it actually laid flat on it. It was actually laying flat properly in there. But um, I made another one for this. Look, there you go. Here's the ghost box, and I've got one one attached to that. I can see that. I've got one fixed on there. The latest comments aren't popping up here. Um, yeah, that's that one. So I use that on the ghost box. Just strapped on. Take the rubber bit out of the way. Took the top bit off. Bent, bent that piece out straight. So it's out of the way. That's how the other K2... I think this one might have been for the K2 originally, actually. Um, yeah, so that's that. Made one for that. That's the speaker for that. So that's the ghost box. And it's still on a stand. That's the K2, which I've got to flatten out and do the same with that. There they are voice recorders, as you know. That's the one I use all the time. These are just two spares. Um, we've got the torches. Got a normal basic torch. That's a good torch. Got a little one with blue LEDs. Blue light. We've got a larger one with blue LEDs, which is this one. That's a large blue LED one. Different light effects. We've got this is one of my latest buys. I think I got this from Lidl's or somewhere. But that's a really good torch. It's a I can't obviously not gonna put it straight on the to the phone. But that's a good one. That's a good one. If you want a tiny one, spare. I always use keep that as a backup. But the blue ones I don't use a lot. Really, these are quite good, aren't they? They're not too bad. I see just another backup one really, just in case I need it. Um, yeah, I've got that. Dumb dowsing rods. This, what's happened here? Hang on. This all getting tangled up here. 
Uh, headphones, in case I need to listen to anything back through from the uh, Aussie the voice recorders. That's my backup battery set pack in there. Um, that's a, just another telescopic -y phone thing which I've never used. I just bought it in case I need it. Uh, why is it not getting I'm not getting the last comments coming up on there. I don't know why. So it's, it's a anniversary, is it? Anniversary. Happy anniversary, Tom and Jay. Have a good one. No, enjoy yourselves. Um, here's my grippy gloves, fingerless grippy gloves. They're handy when it's when you're out in the cold. Um, emergency tissue pack. You can every explorer needs one of them when you're out and about. I've got a few of them, but I keep in my bag. This is a little thing. This is a neat little device. This thing here. It did have another light on there, but I caught it on a wall or something and knocked it off. But it's a little LED, you strap it on your fingers. Strap it, oh my God, that's smashing the place up now. But you put it on. I'll just try and show you, hang on. Basically, it sort of goes on like that, straps around your wrist. So you've got an extra torch. If you're holding a camera, you've got a- put it on for you so you can show it. You can do, yeah. I just want to strap it on. Thanks. <laughs> She's just, she's just, she's just getting my strap on out. I've got a, I've got a strap on. He's so naughty. Me? I've got your other finger in it. Oh. Well, oh, oh, that's that in the wrong one then. I think the thumb goes in there. Sorry about this, guys. We're just sorting out my strap on. Hang on. Do you know? Right. I can't suck him nowhere. Just no sorting way. that out. <laughs> Won't be long. Strap on the dildo. Whoa, what's that then? Yes, that's. Oh, it's, it's that's, it's that's look how bright that is. ET phone. ET, yeah. <laughs> Where's that copper gone? That copper comes to the car. <coughs> phone home, ET phone home. <laughs> and stick that in his eyes, blind the bugger. Yeah, it's just one of them, basically. It's good if you're. You know, you if you've got your like. No, Natalie. What? Strap on dildo. No. Yeah. So you've got your obviously if you've got. Hang on. I'm all getting tangled in a wrangle here. There you go. Right. So obviously, if you want some light to see what you're doing, you can use that. You did have another LED on the other finger, but I kept catching it and I caught it on the wall. I think in the end. But it's handy for just a spare light if you you haven't got your torch at the right time. Just spun that on. Just push the little bike button and it's off again. So it's done getting away. It's just there if you need it. Just an emergency, really. So that's that. Um, what else have we got here? So we've got the cameras, done all that. These, I'll come back to them in a minute. Strap on. <laughs> they're my sensors. Obviously, they are IR sensors. You can set, set up in a doorway, obviously, or wherever, in an archway or whatever, in another room. I've got them. I've got my other sight sensor here, a sensor light. Go you can set that. Obviously, that's a sensor related light there. And we've got a spare <coughs> spare IR light for that or whatever. Trigger objects so there. We've got a headlight there. It's not an LED one, but it's uh, mm. that, that was Dawnie's and she let me have that. What one? The little headlight. That. That's a horsey headlight. Horsey headlight. Yeah, that's my, that's the backup pack, the shy battery pack up, backup battery. Obviously, that's the Ouija board, which I made. Well, we made this, didn't we, Dawn? We made the Ouija board ourselves. When we, it's got, obviously got my old name on there. I've changed the name since. Um, yeah, that's a backup battery pack that I haven't had to use yet, luckily. That's my sensor for the old stick man on the laptop. Um, that's thingy light, what do you call it? What's the electric lights called? Static things. I've lost them. What's the name of them, guys? I can't remember what it's called. What is that? Nice Ouija. Yeah, nice. It's nice, isn't it, Tom? Uh, Dan, sorry. The thing. What's these balls called? Yeah, we've got the old static. I can't think what they're called. Yeah, thanks, guys. That's, we made that Ouija board ourselves and made our own transfers and messed about and put them on. A little planchette that we made out of an old 
piece of wood, a bit of old plywood, look old. Obviously, that's got the old name on it. I'm going to have to put, make a new one now. But yeah, that's the board. Use that a few times. Don't normally bring it indoors. It's normally, normally kept out inside the, in the boot of the car. So we brought it in for this purpose just to show you guys. Um, yeah, we got that. I got the sensor. What's this thing called? I can't think what they're called. Where's the goodbye on it? Goodbye. Goodbye's down there. Natalie. I can't see it. There you go. Goodbye. There you go. Goodbye. We've got a yes. We've got a no. We haven't got a hello on it. The only thing we haven't got is hello. But then we, we'll soon say hello once it starts anyway. It was hiding. It was hiding there all the time. Yeah, that's the plant yet. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Um, that's obviously my cap, my scarf, my mask. That was cheap. Tom, if you, if you need one of them, that was off of AliExpress for about a fiver, wasn't it? Five ninety-five? Five or six quid, I think that was, Tom. AliExpress. Um, they don't do hello on them. They don't do hello on them. Oh, some do, don't they? I'll take um, that other Sorry, one. Too. The are... All right, all right, all right, AJ. It's AJ. Yeah, so that's the um, mask, which is off a. Uh, AliExpress, I think they're like 20, 30 quid in some places, but AliExpress, I think it's about five or six quid with free postage. No, was it? Oh, it might have been free postage actually. I had to wait about 30 days for it to, to arrive, but um, 10 watching, 10 likes, brilliant. Cheers, guys. Uh, what else? Headphones, I've got some spare. I was going to do a little competition for these, these dowsing rods because I don't like these, I don't like the pink ones. If, if anyone wants them, I was thinking of doing a little competition and asking a few questions or one question to try and win them and I'll post them to you. But I ain't thought of a decent question yet, have I? What for? For winning these dowsing rods. No, does, is anybody interested in them? Anybody wants them? Give us 20 likes and you can have them. <laughs> Up for that, bro. What's that for? Should do a competition, should competition. Yeah. yeah. I'll think of some questions and then we'll do a question for one pair and obviously a question for the other one. I know I forgot, I can't get this off now. I've got one hand, I can't get it off. It's all right, it's, it's comfy enough. Um, the comp buddy, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll do a little competition at some point. Oh, well, I could do it now if I can think of a question. What question can I think of? Um, anyway, we've shown you that, shown you that. So, in the Ouija board, that's the Ouija board. Obviously, it's a uh, Paranation Exploration now, that's my old channel name. Um, Dowsing Rods. Have you got the green laser? No, I've got the, this one here, the blue one. I'm just going to put that on actually and show you. I've got a blue laser, laser grid pen. Tom, let's just set it up over here. Oh, we've got a nice cake. We'll get that cake out later. <laughs> yeah, that's my, this is my blue one. I'll just put it on. I'll try to get a green one. For some reason, I didn't get it in the end. It was too expensive. Um, right, that's that. Let me just show you what that does. Just turn the light off. Right. There you go, guys. That's the, that's the blue laser pen. Right. That's the, obviously picking up the wall there. So that's that. I'm trying to, trying to get it so you can see it in the light. But that's the, that's the laser pen. And that's it on the wall there. Obviously, you can uh, adjust the pattern to whatever. Oh, my God. Come on, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? I'm blinding like myself with it. Oh, my Sorry, God. Sorry, little tribe just fell over there. Right, that's that, yeah. So I can't try and do it in the dark. Obviously, you can adjust the pattern. You can have different patterns like that. All sorts of different... That's what are you looking at? this pen? God, I think it was about 14 quid. 12 quid, 14 quid. I can't. Somewhere around that. <coughs> Does Tom want one? Did I get it off Ghost Supplies in Barnsley? Yes. Yeah, it came from, um, I think it's called Ghost Supplies, I'm not quite sure. Do you like that one? Look at that. There's all sorts of patterns you can get on it and you can twist it around to different angles like that. Whatever angle you want. Obviously, um, when you walk in front of it, you get the shadow. See? And you can see that. 
That's what the idea is. Anyone who's not used to these things. I haven't actually used it, so you get like anything passing through the grid, it will cause a shadow on the wall. So that is that. It's pretty, it actually shows up really well. It shows up better on camera than it does in in real life, actually, because it's like maybe I don't know, is it IR type of um, I don't know what it is, but it shows up shows up really well on there. Oh Dan, did you know there was a ghost shop in Barnsley? Didn't know no. oh, didn't know, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I got me, um... Well, it's online on the internet. Yeah, it's online, but he did let me, because I was, um... I, I was going to do a little plug for him on my channel, which I think I did. Let's put the light back on. Yeah, that's the laser pen anyway, sorry. Going from one to another. Right, turn that off. That's that. Obviously, uh, the tripod is another cheap tripod that I've adapted to fit. Uh, I made a little tripod set up myself for that. And a little holder. That's just like a torch type holder thing that I've uh, put on. But the pen comes on its own. The laser pen, Tom. Um, yeah, that bit. That bit I've just made myself to fix on. So that's that. I'd like a red one as well, but I haven't got a red one. Not yet. Um, <laughs> with all this equipment. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I haven't, I haven't used this out yet. That's fairly new. Um, that's new. I've got the got these things. These aren't that much good. These torches really. They like don't really shine. Yeah, they should. What's that? Um, I think that's. I think I've covered pretty much. There's the old paracube. This radio I've adapted. This old fifties radio. I've adapted a, a wire in there, so I can run. I can run a voice recorder, um, ghost box through it. I've got another speaker, not the original speaker because it's not loud enough, but I'll put a, a modified speaker in there, an amplified speaker inside, and run the ghost box. So I can run that box through it. I can run the recorders through it, obviously through into that. Um, this is also what I've done. I picked this up this week, actually, for a tenner bargain 10 10 quid so they're left all the radio radio settings are all inside it but i've adapted it so i can run it off a nine volt battery so this all lights up with nine volt battery now with the led in there um i've got i put an amplified spec it works the um, voice recorder works really well for it not really it's loud enough to hear in it yeah but um i'm going to put a an amplified speaker in that one as well and just keep all the gubbins all the original gubbins left inside it so that does the same job as that, really, but it's obviously just a different design. I was going to put some static meters on this at some point, but I don't know when I get around to doing that. So that's that one. Ten quid that cost. Now, to travel the other side of Leeds to pick it up, it was only like an extra 30 miles from where I was at the time. So that's that one. That one you've seen, the old paracube. Um, I still try to think what these lights are called. Do the electric bits come off? What are they called? Got these come up. Do you know what I mean? These. Fiber optic, not fiber optic. What are they called? I don't know. Show them it. What's it called? Can anyone tell me what they've forgotten? What these are they called? Sorry. You know, you get uh, you touch them and all the sparks come up towards the not sparks. Like, what are they called, guys? When you touch it and it'll go zzz, zzz, You know what I mean? To the edge. I'm going to build that into a box at some point. Anyway, obviously there's a tripod. Or one of the tripods. Uh, very heavy that one, but it's good. Um, yeah, what's the name of these guys? Dan, what's Dan or Tom? What are these called? This is one that's got a speaker built into it, but I'm going to mess about with that one. Um, I'm not getting any late things. Well, remember how he built Dawn? Tesla ball. Something like a Tesla ball. Not quite the same as a Tesla ball, Dan. Um, well, it could be. A, yeah, it might be another name for him. You know when you touch it and you get all the like the little rays towards the edge. I think it is a Tesla. Perhaps it's another name from a. It's a Tesla ball. Yeah, there's another name from as well, isn't there? Yeah, that sort of thing. Anyway, but I'm going to build that into a box. Maybe not that one. I've got another old box. I'm going to do this sort of design with one of this. These coming out through the lid. Just that part of it. Obviously, I'm not going to use the speaker. Might have to get a smaller one yet. Um, I've got an old brass ship's compass that's going to be set on it because uh, spirits seem to like all that sort of stuff as well, interacting with them. 
Yeah, there is another name, Dan. I can't think what it is. Oh, B&M used to sell them and everyone, all these cheap shops used to sell them. But now I want one. I can't find one anywhere. Plasma, that's it. Plasma ball. Who said that? Who said that? They can win a, they can win a, a pair of them <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Who said plasma ball? Creepy spores. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, well, for that, you got the answer right. Yeah, that could be one of the... You can have a, a free pair of... Um, when I see you. You can have one of these pairs of um, dowsing rods. You might have to paint them up a bit or put some different beads on. I'll give you a pair of them for getting the name right. I couldn't think what it was. <laughs> well done, Dan says. Plasma ball. Well done, Tom. Yay, yeah. What ones do you want, Tom? They're both pretty pink colours, but one's got plastic ends on. I can always swap them. One's got little plastic bits on the end and one hasn't. But you don't need them. Yay. That weren't, that weren't planned, that, but it's just a... Uh, well, that's a good idea. Win a prize for the good, right answer, which is what we want, really, isn't it? Anybody. All right. I'll go for the ones. Oh, God, I don't know, actually, really. What ones would I go for? I think I'd go for them ones. I'll go for the ones with the little rubber bits on the ends. They're not too bad. We had a little play with that. I me earlier. Yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you that pair when I see you, mate. I'll bring them up for you. Well done. <laughs> I might have to think of a question I for think, these ones, huh? I think him and Dan should come down here and we should have a little bit of a... Him and Dan? Who? Tom and Dan? Tom and Dan. We so, meet here. Do a little collab. Yeah, but just come here and just have a little bit of a social. Yeah, that'd be good. go out and explore somewhere. Yeah. You could do that. Have a meet up here and then go down to the, the haunted house, maybe. Or Hoot and Pagnall, even. Hoot and Pagnall. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Or even both. Yeah, just, I don't know if you heard Tom in the background there. I'll just uh, sweep around. Yeah, I think I think Tom heard that. Have a look at me. Uh, if Dan wants to come down soon, oh. or sometime soon. Well, not Dan, not soon. Dan, when the weather obviously gets warm, a bit better, warmed up a little bit. Um, yeah, but you've seen all that rubbish there. So <laughs> I don't think there's any more to say about this lot. That's obviously the protection stones. And if you can, get a bag of sage. But so, yeah, it has good points and bad points, doesn't it, taking sage? Sometimes it can put off the old um, activity a little bit. So, partially deaf, but when I'm here, kind of things, I hear it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm always deaf. <laughs> I'm deaf in one ear. Yeah, you'll hear stuff. But yeah, we had some activity with the dowsing rods earlier. We were sitting here messing about with this pair here. These are my, my favourite ones, which I use. Um, yeah, we was asking questions out, and apparently we had, we had uh, let's just turn this round. Hi guys. Yeah, apparently we had um, five spirits in the, in the in the room with us earlier, and it was answer, answering to yes and no questions, going through alphabet letters, and it's picking out letters to spell the names and that sort of thing. Um, and they're all related to us, which is really strange, isn't it? Because we've had stuff before and tried to get it. We try to call out for any relatives that may be here, and we've had nothing, have we, really? We had my mum come through on a Ouija board when we was on an explore, on a paranormal investigation, sorry. My mum came through the first time on a Ouija board and answered a lot of things that we needed to know, which no one else knew about, and some really private stuff came through there. I am deaf, but I hear him. Oh, God. If everyone's in, <laughs> in, if in the lug holes, I use a hearing aid. Oh. It's good. Anyway, yeah, so um, we had some stuff from that come through, from the, the old Ouija board. Room on the top bunk. He hiding in his sister's room on the top bunk. Who's that? Ethan, is it? Ethan, is it? Yeah. Will we use the Ouija board in the house? No, it's definitely no, not to that one. No, 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 he won't do that. I think family and loved ones are always with us, mate. Yeah, they're, they're following us. No, we won't do the Ouija board, Natalie, not in the house. Uh, sorry, Dan, yeah. They're always with us. They've come through quite recently, quite a lot lately, haven't they, actually? Been really yeah. good. Um, sorry, I'm missing that. Ricky and Dawn, request the pleasure of your company, Dan and Tom. Oh, you put that. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, hey, I don't... Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey? He's calling a little get. Oh. <laughs> don't blame you. 
No, I've not S2. I don't. I never used to like using them anyway. But um, we've done it with um, had a few attempts with Seeking Spirits, and they're really in control of it, aren't they? Done some with them, and uh, got used to it a little bit. Never really lost touch. If you, as long as you touch them, if you use them in the right way. Uh, with bells on. So. <laughs> Oh, God, that's just coming off. Sorry, I'm just trying to take this thing off my hand. My little um, doobie device there. My little light. Yeah, so um, we've seen them using it, and I thought, well, if you use it right and don't let negativity come, negativity come through, and all the nasty spirits and start misspelling stuff and swearing, that's when you need to take, get off it quick and say goodbye. But you handle it the right way, they're safe. you just got to be prepared to, when something nasty comes through, just get off it quick, really, and shut it down. Um, yeah, so that's that. So anyway, that's... Um, I think you've seen all that now, haven't you? What do you think of these radios, though, guys? They're all right, do you think? Obviously, you can't really see them in action at the moment. I've got to put some uh, proper power clips on in there. Power, like 9-volt battery um, terminals and stuff to be fitted. That one's got that's that's ready to go. That's pretty much ready to go. Just got to get battery, battery terminal put on that one inside. Uh, there's my hunting camera. You see, that's that's Penny, not Penny, Pe Peggy. 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 That is Peggy Paranormal. Usually, when you get her on camera, I'm not sure it'll work on the phone. Her eyes glow, and we don't know why. Her eyes go like all glazed. I don't know if you can see it on this. I don't think it's doing it with this camera. But when you get the Canon camera or the video camera on her, her eyes like almost like go all crazy. I don't think she's doing it on this one. Oh, yeah, Even without the light, when there's no light on her, it's like her eyes become alive, don't they? <laughs> anyway, that's Peggy for you. AJ wants. Hey? Hey, Jay wants. Wants tree. Tree? Wants Christmas tree. He wants a tree. Oh, it's a long way to post it, mate. Looks looks a lot different now. What looks a lot different now? Peggy. Yeah, I think we've seen all this now, haven't we? I don't want to bore you too much of all that. The doll. The doll looks different. Does she look different in there? Look, with her eyes changing. It's only when the camera's on that we've noticed. Her eyes seem to like, I don't know, they go all like lazy and... It looks like she's staring, her eyes change. Let's just watch her for a minute and see what happens, shall we? See if we can see any. There's our cam caller there, Dan. Thank you for that, mate. That's brilliant. Hopefully it never ends. I'm gonna draw this more stuff. <laughs> it's more stuff, it never ends. Peggy Nat. Peggy Nat, hey. Come on, Peggy, show us your eyes. Cheers, Dan. I don't always take it, obviously, don't take it all out with me. I usually take out with me, I'll tell you, didn't, the twins were ongoing as well. I usually take the ghost box, the K2, when I've got more time to obviously sit down and use them properly. The ghost box, the K2, I usually take one voice recorder, maybe two, depends on where, if I've got enough rooms to set them up. Um, I usually take that torch, or a couple of torches, something I'll leave that in the car to back up. I usually take that one on that one. I usually take one of the balls of one of them normally. Obviously, trigger objects I keep in the bag as well. Can call do I take? Camera, I take, I take one or the other of them most of the time. But I'm going to try and take both now because obviously if the battery goes on one, I've got the other one to back up. Um, obviously, start taking the other cam cord out, mate. Um, that's going to be used in daytime and setting up in other rooms. Um, that's about it. A paracube comes out occasionally when I can carry it, and I've got enough uh, hands. All depends if I'm doing any climbing and stuff like that. If I'm not climbing about too much, I'll take more gear with me. Um, divot box. Who's got a divot box? No, it's on the same one. What a divot box? I don't think that Jade will let him have one. I thought, no. I could make you one. I'll no, you're not having one in here. I ain't got no spirit support in it. No way. I don't have it connected with any spirits. I don't, not that I know of. There are some things I've got which may have spirits connected to them, but I'm not too sure. I could make you the box. I could make you a box similar to that, make it all look old and seal it all for you. No, no, if he wants one, then he wants a paracube. He wants a paracube. Paracube. 
Yeah. yeah. Did you say that just now? I know he wants one. He did. I remember him saying about it. Actually, I've got... Know which is best rice recorder. Rice recorder. Well, I, I, these are okay. These are quite good. The cheapy ones, Olympus. But this one's an Olympus, and I got this from Argos. Actually, Tom, you was asking about these, weren't you, like, recently? I've I noticed it on the comments. Hey, Jay, you want to let me have a divot box, but I do want one. Ha, ha. <laughs> right. <laughs> this one I got from Argos not that long ago, really, I don't think. And I'm sure that was about 20, 19 pounds, something. And I'm not sure if Argos still do them. But, yeah, that was from Argos, that one. They're online. They are quite expensive, some of these. But that's a good one. It's really clear, isn't it? The recordings yeah. on this one. This is the best one I've found so far. That's an Olympus. I'm trying to read it, but I can't. I don't know if you can read the name on that. Oh, I'm trying to focus in. Um, I think it says seven. I'm trying to read it. Sorry, hang on. I'm just trying to read it. So I think it's 731 PC. Digital voice recorder, BN731PC. I'm being blown off Jade Law. Bullet. But this one's good. It's a bit messed up. I've been trying to stick it, adapt it to stick on things. But this one has got a little clip that folds out the back. And you can obviously just stand it up like that as well, if you want to. Don't really need to, really, but... It just, that's a good one anyway. Hi Sherlock, you on as well in the house? We've got nine watching and eleven likes, so that's not bad. Yeah, so that's that. Um pretty else quarter to nine already. Nearly twenty to nine. That's gone quick, isn't it? I hope you're enjoying this guys anyway. But anyway, that's that. Yeah, that's the best one. Olympus. I'll see if Dawn can read it for us. I'll just hang on. Bear with me guys, I'm just gonna see if Dawn can read that number because my eyes are crap, even this crappy glasses on. They're only cheap glasses. You can see that number there. I think it's 731. Yeah, Who's that on that telly there? How the hell that is on there? The He's got glasses like me, that. Oi! Uh, who's that? I recognise her. Give up. And him? Oi, you. you got my glasses, you bugger. Give up. <laughs> Give up. It's, uh, Can't hear you proper eye. I have Jay's head breathing on my... What? Jay's head breathing on her leg. I think it's WN7... Breathing in my lug. So I'm in my lug. Sorry, what? 731PC. W? VN731PC. That's what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, that bloke's never off the TV, lol. I know, I know Dan. I don't know who he is. I think he follows me about all over the place. Anyway, yeah. As Dawn said, to confirm what I said earlier, um, it's an Olympus digital voice recorder, Tom. VN731PC. Actually, yeah, you can see it now, look. VN731PC. It's a bit grubby, but it's been used a bit. So that's that one. Yeah, so they were available in Argos, but I'm not sure if they still do them. But you'll probably get one on Amazon. Why is it going all blurry all of a sudden? That was going really blurry then. Did you see that? Did you notice that, you lot? That was really a trying to, that was spooky, that. Was it you, Peggy? Are you causing trouble again? It's them eyes. I don't like them eyes. Anyway. <laughs> okay, two meters. Let's see if we've got anything going on here. Shall we? Any spirits in this house with us now? Are there any spirits that have joined us again? He used to be on TV before. So... Oh no, don't tell him about that. You bugger. Yeah, I've been on TV. Hang on, let's turn it off. I think Tom wants to see the record again. Here you go, mate. I'll try and get under the light, it's better. Right, hang on. That's where he's not picking up now. Typical, isn't it? It picked up really well just now. What oh, bugger? Hang on. Oh, oh, God. Hang on. 
For some reason, it don't want to focus now. It's getting there. Look, are we getting there? Here you go, Tom. I'm trying to keep my hands steady. <laughs> One video, I oh, know. It was a long time ago, Natalie. Visual voice recorder VN731PC. Uh, it's obviously a good recorder. Picks up really well. And if you play it back, if you play it back through obviously one of these little speakers that you use on the ghost box as well, on that, on the spirit box, play it back through one of them. It's, it's even better. But you don't even need that if you haven't got a box. If you haven't got a speaker, sorry. You don't have to have it. But yeah, is that all right, Tom? That's that one. They say, do we have that one now? That one, Mark. That what video? Who said that? So I'm missing comments here, mate. Don't have that one now. Don't have that one now. Oh, Argos, don't have it now. All right. Probably. Shit, that's a bugger. Only one close to it is a VN540. I don't know what that yeah. one is then. Oh. But these older ones, I don't think these, you can put these two, both of these actually, these ones here. I got these off eBay. I think they were both about a tenner each used. Actually, no, one was one was new. That one was new. This was the used one. This was the tenner. I bought that about probably yeah, about 10 years ago, this one. eBay will have one. Yeah, eBay should have, even or Amazon. Amazon, eBay, you're sure, sure to find one there somewhere. I've seen a few about. But yeah, them ones are, yeah, they're okay. They, they still do the job, but I think that one's a lot clearer. Don't go for them. Sorry, I'm just dropping in my mask now. Don't go for the, don't go for the Panasonic ones, what they all rave about. Um, paranormal, some of them paranormal ones. They're not that brilliant. I'm not happy on myself, but uh, they're not, they're not good. They do have a lot of background noise and hissing and they keep putting it down to paranormal when it's not. But if you want a proper, true, clear response, get one of these if you can. Because they're excellent. I can recommend them fully. So, what's this about me being on Wham anyway? <laughs> I'm going to sit down for a minute. My legs are aching. Isn't that what the children were called, Wham? Well, wham Rap, was it? Eh? Was it Wham Rap or one of them? Yeah, Wham Rap. Was it Wham Rap? I think it was Wham Rap. Well, that's that lot anyway. Hope you like that. I'm just going back over here. Spoiling Rigidity wants our tree. You can't have it because it's ours and there ain't many made in this colour. We was lucky to get that. That was a bargain. Last Christmas. Ha <laughs> oh, ha ha. Doing the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, I want that it's one. Grey. It's, it's a grey. It's, it's grey in colour. It's not silver. And it's not white. It's like a grey and it's like a... A misty, misty grey. It looks more misty with the lights on, actually, doesn't it? But it's, it is good. Good quality. It was 80 quid, wasn't it? But we got it for 40, something like that. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a nice tree. And tree skirt we got off. The tree skirt. Got that off, um... Come on. Amazon, was it? What's Amazon. that? Amazon, I think, yeah. It's Christmas and I'll give you a mince pie. Uh-huh. Yeah, skirt. I'm from. not getting any comments coming up. I don't know why. Skirt was from. Beautiful. Cheers, Tom. I needed it. It's Christmas and I'll give you... Yeah, Cheers, it's Sherlock. Tree. Is it the fake tree? Is it the yeah. fake tree? Yeah. It's not a fake video. Not like, No bones in this one. It's just a fake... <laughs> it's a fake tree. No bones going on in our videos, I can tell her. <laughs> yeah. I needed it with different. Oh look, they got one the same on the telly as well. <laughs> There's one on the telly, just like ours. That's strange, isn't it? Lol, Fema Hunt. <laughs> I tell Fema Hunt, sorry, I'm saying it saying it wrong. Fema Hunt, yeah. Fema Hunt. Let's find the ball and see if there's a nice bone in there. I'm hungry. <laughs> Can't say what. 
Chance stopping by, chance of turning. What's that then? What's that, Sherlock? I was on one of your lives earlier. I only had to, I only popped on for a little while on one of your gaming videos and said hi, hi to you. I think you saw me. What's the favour there you want, Sherlock? We can help you out there. No, it's just, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. Is that what you said? Oh, all right. Sorry, mate. Turning a favour. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. That's fine. No. Yeah. A bit of femur and chips, please. With a little bit of vinegar. A bit of onion vinegar on that femur. Ah. And that'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, let's switch from that. Hi. Hi, guys. I'm back. Right. Um, I'll take these silly glasses off now. That's better, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's good. I hope you like my little my little bits and pieces over there. So that's that. Um, what was we saying? Oh my god, I can see myself on telly. Yes, bad. Can you buy me some fish and chips? Why? Oh, I'll buy. I put his glasses back, and I can't see him. I can't see the comments. Hang on, guys. Let's swap him around again. <laughs> Please, my ghost. That's <laughs> found a femur. Ricky, you are crackers. Can you buy me some fish and chips while it can? Can you buy me some fish and chips, Reddit? <laughs> oh, yeah, fever and chips. That's mad. Yeah, we know what these um, so-called big channels are like, don't we? Don't get that with the smaller ones. No fakes going on. You just get what you get. You get what there is. True paranormal, whatever's there, you'll cut. And that's it's the real thing. No added bloody fakes or anything. Just get the real thing. Best way. Not worth it, is it? We do, mate. Yeah, I know. We do it right. We do it the right way. It's just not worth it. There's paranoia out there. It'll come and show itself if it wants to. You don't have to do all this fake crap. Nice lights and nice balls. Thanks. They didn't know I had them out. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. What's you on about? <coughs> What's you on about earlier anyway? About these <coughs> bowl things. Like Ticket or tickly throat now, eh? Yeah, what? Broken. Well, what? The balls? Mm. What the light up balls? <laughs> they were broken. I'm not getting involved. Why? I'm not getting involved. No, we're not talking about that. Huh? <coughs> yeah, a silly little... I don't know what's the matter. They usually bounce them. They go all right, but I don't know. Uh, my look, how big the balls... Tom's put my... My, my look, how big the balls are. What are these ones? You'll have to stop it, Tom. Natalie, you might get excited. <laughs> how hard, Tom? <laughs> Yeah, they're nice them ones, aren't they? Bowl of balls. Anyway, um, oh, you can see it on there. Right. Right, come on, change the subject. What's this about this Wham video, anyway? I won't. Like the oval ones. Yeah, they're nice. They're unusual, aren't they, Tom? They're my oval type of shape. They're a bit like the old 50s and 60s style ones, them ones. I made them. What, the oval ones? No, You made some of them. You covered some and painted some, didn't you, on there? So it all come up coordinates, can't go up with it. They're on there somewhere. That's yeah, it's all be uh, colour coordinated, grey and duck egg blue and all that, to match with some of the colour yeah, bits in it. <laughs> she likes, yeah, she likes to all that. Paints the marbles and everything. Some of the decorations we have, we've got a lot of the other bits are away at the moment, aren't they? But yeah. Oh, thanks. It's going, is AJ? Oh, see you later, AJ. I've seen powers, ha ha. Huh? Austin Powers? Where's he gone? Yeah, that Wham video, I was only about 18 or 19 when I was in that. Nine, no, I was a bit older because I, I, I think I've just moved away from Croydon, I think. I was in Croydon at the time and I think I was living, I think I was in Tunbridge Wells actually then. And I went back to visit, visit Gary and all that lot. Yeah, that Wham, I think I was about 19 or 20 when I was in that band video, Wham video. I didn't even like Wham that much, but just to get on telly really. Things you do for TV. Yeah, like we like to stand on these like different stages at the back and 
just told if you don't like if you like the music or not just pretend you're enjoying it and just don't jig around do whatever moves you want to do and just make look look like you're enjoying the music and that's what we've done and i think i was almost doing a little bop right the backstage a bit blurry in that little video i might try and get it on youtube at some point and then a little clip of a cadillac that was on a tv program as well when the producer of this um the program the toy wilcox was there but she weren't on this particular one was she uh but it's a toy toy wilcox series that was on it's either i think it was either tbs at the time or channel four i don't i think it's more i think it was channel four but it's talking about some things going on down the hastings area and that uh, about the old town and all that and i was on that and they they were the little local car classic car meet up and uh i was down there on the seafront with my cadillac and this bloke was going around all these hot rods and other cars and crawling all over them and that being a bit of a pain in the ass. And uh, <laughs> ghost adventures. Yeah. Version of the ghost adventures, haha. I think we should all get together on the UK version of the ghost adventures. <laughs> yeah. Would. That'd be mad. You can't bake anything though. <laughs> no. We Not like they do. No, we keep it real. Ghost ventures fake a lot too. Like that. No. We we'll just do a real one, can't we? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, so that car video, and I sort of, um, I'm standing by the car, and he comes around. I need a big car to get to the pier, and he get, tries to get in the wrong side of the car because he's a dickhead. So he has to walk around the rock because he's holding left-hand drive, and he walks around the other side of the car. I'm standing outside, and he calls across towards the camera, the cameraman. And says, so oh, whatever he says, crawling across the front bench, front bench, so bench seat, dance and take him to the dance, yeah, on this pier thing. I think Joe Brand was on at the pier at the time, doing some comedy act. And um, yeah, that was that, I think. And then um, after crawling over the seats, I had to get in, get in the car. The car was already running, it was that quiet, he couldn't even hear it running, this twat. <laughs> he said, come on then. Think wait for me to start the car and it was all running. It was already running, it was ticked over so quiet. V8, 5.4, I think, litre V8 that was in that Cadillac. Cadillac Coupe de Ville, 1954. Same colour as Blue's eyes, wasn't it? Baby, <laughs> Baby Blue. Blue, Blue's eyes. Same colour yeah. as Marconi's eyes. I used to call it Baby Blue, that Cadillac. It was 18 and a half foot long. Massive. My baby was and, um, my blue-eyed boy. Your blue-eyed boy. Yeah, I liked him. So yeah, that was the story. But anyway, it's on video. It's only a short clip. I did have a longer clip, but I've lost it. I had a whole version on video, but I've got a short clip of that. I might try and just put that on at YouTube, on YouTube if I can. Uh, some way of getting it on there. I don't know how yet. I might be able to refilm it. it. Might be a bit blurry, mightn't it? And put that on. Anyway, it's enough of that. Um, I'll just catch up in the comments. I think we should all get together. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Good idea, Tom. That'd be good. But Coca-Cola cart you built. As well. Oh, Coca-Cola cart. Yeah, I saw them pictures I sent you. I'm going to try and do a video on them as well. Try and put some photos. Do like a photo video. Um, yeah, there's a couple of Coca-Cola. Did you see the Coca-Cola bike? I'm not sure if I sent you that one, to, um, Dan. Coca-Cola 50 style bike that I built. That's uh, pretty good. Made that from bits and pieces and built the, uh, obviously the chiller unit myself. And put some little doors on it, like flaps on the top, little handles and all that. Not talking uh, about flaps right now. Oh, don't do flaps. <laughs> we don't do them. There would be Ace, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't be Ace, keep it real. Yeah, Tom, we will do something, that'd be good, a little group of us get together and do that, do something mad. Um, yeah. Do you want to slice a monkey cake? Do you want to slice a monkey cake? We'll try and feed it through the bones here. Yeah, let's get the monkey cake out. I got this monkey cake on a special deal at Tesco's and I've been saving it for a few days. So I thought, oh, let's open it. Let's open it live on video. I'm just going to switch the camera over. Hang on. Right, there we go. This is our naughty, naughty little monkey cake. It's a naughty monkey cake. Look at cake. that. It's got a naughty banana there too, look. Because so, Ricky's naughty. Because I'm naughty. Because I'm naughty. Naughty. Naughty <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Is there naughty minky? Oh, naughty. Do you like it? it? Smells good, actually. It smells chocolate. Can, Do I like that, it? can I have that banana? Can you can have a banana. You like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Watch it slide off this and drop that's all mad. in. No, <laughs> it don't let it slip. And drops all in your Can't be lap. having that. Spitty Noodle chop his back. Chop, chop, let's get to it. Oh, higher. Turn it round. Nick, let me flip the camera around. Hey, Back on me now. Right, there you go. I'm back. Yeah, um, might have to have a slice of cake in a minute. I'll just show you it again. Make your mouths. Make your mouths water. Look at that. Isn't that mad? It's a naughty minky. Naughty minky cake. Oh my god, don't cut it between your legs. I don't like that. <laughs> cut his poor feet off. Oh my god. Well, this, this is going to make Tom hungry now. He made us hungry watching you eat them hot dogs last night, didn't he? Bloody hell. It was all getting hungry. <laughs> What's good though? Yeah, we're going to have a slice of naughty minky cake. I always call them minkies, I don't know why. Isn't that good though? Look at it, it's mad, isn't it? Oops. Anyway, we've been streaming for an hour and 35 minutes. What is going on? We've got eight in the house. Hi guys, I've got a bit of cake, look. <laughs> so I'm going to have to quickly stuff that down. Um, so yeah, so, whoa, so what, 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 what? Um, mm, mm, mm. Sorry. When's this get together going to be then, what do you think? Who are we planning to start with? Just um, Tom and Dan? Yeah. And Jade, if she wants to come, or I don't know, probably looking up for kids. Tom and Dan, want to come That's down? Nice. Maybe when it gets warmer, a little bit warmer, eh? Come on. Or any time then. I don't know. So Tom and Dan, do you want to come down to a little meet up? We can go to um we can check out the haunted farmhouse again if you like. Provided it's still accessible. Sorry, just stuff in my face. Um there's only six on now. Can you see if I turn the slide off? No. Tell you what we're looking up here. Um, Is anyone there? Tom? Dawn's just having a cigarette. I think um, Tom's gone. I'm not getting the answers. They might be having a snack. It's probably a snack. Hmm. Sorry. Um, yeah, Tom or Dan, are you there? Let us know you want to do a little meet-up. Maybe one Sunday. I think a Sunday's going to be best for me, isn't it? Because we've worked at the moment. It's all up and down to keep changing my hours, but Sunday's off is my day off anyway, so I'll make sure I'll get Sunday off for that. Uh, I don't think anyone's on here. I think they're all busy at the moment. They've all gone very quiet and if I'm not seeing the comments. Oh hang on. Hey to mate, yes the bike was stunning. Oh, I saw the bike. I'm missing these comments, sorry guys. It's the ET finger again. <laughs> silly bugger. That cake looks like too cute to eat, guys. It is, but we're eating it. That's chimp off the old block. That's a chimp off the old block. Good one, Dan. <laughs> so I missed all these comments. I thought it all disappeared. I'm covered in chocolate. I'm missing all this. Sounds great, mate. I'd love to. Uh, it's rude to speak with your mouth full, Ricky. Oh no. Sorry. Well, it's only a bit of chocolate. Yeah. I'm licking my fingers. Sorry. It's Tom. It's Tom's fault. Eating all them hot dogs on camera. He's got me at it now. Oh, who's farted? Huh. That's the drains outside, I think. It's not me. Haunted farmhouse, yep. Yeah. Good call, I'm going for one also. What, fart? Sorry, I definitely mate. Down to it, uh, buy a, sp a spaghetti going now. I think, oh. See you later, spaghetti, uh, spaghetti noodle chop. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, see you later. Is it Nick? Yeah. Cheers, Nick. Thanks for popping on. We'll try and do a bit more of an interesting um, live stream next time. Something mad, lively, or spooky or whatever thank you guys 
Um, I'm still just getting beaten up by Jade. <laughs> I have to, well, I'm trying to, to laugh. Dawn said the police will be called. <laughs> I'm just having a munch, hang on. Mm. Mm. Oh, the lights back on. Mm. I mustn't talk with a mouthful. Sorry. Don't blame me, oh, I'm still there. <laughs> I'm still getting beaten up. Don't blame me. Bye, Chop Chop. You want noodle and chip? It's all good, ha ha. Right, I think I'm up to date with the comments. Is it 2101? Yeah, I think the comments are caught up now. For some reason, my comments keep lagging off. Not lagging, but I seem to be dropping back and then they all like, appear again. And I have to keep like, flicking through to cash up. I don't know why it's doing that. It might be me flicking back to see the other ones. I think we should give Dan another dowsing rods if he wants them. There's one. Dowsing rods. Yeah, if he wants them. Not if he's got any. Um, it's all good. Sorry. Well. <laughs> I don't want to see any stuff in my face. Um, right. Dan, have you got any dowsing rods in the house? If you haven't, you can have the other pair if you like, when you come down. It's all good, ha-ha. Jay's not catching up again. He's got a date now. Oh? Eh? Cracking headache me now, ha-ha, uh -huh, so... Oh, dehydration, that's probably what it is. Yeah. Take some pills then, Tom. I don't know why this is not keeping up with the comments. He's got some of us down. All right, mate. Okay. No worries. Do you want a spare pair? <laughs> Do you want some spare ones? Um, all right. Sorry, I've got to change the, change the view for a minute. I'm stuffing my face. It is a bit rude, really. Um, okay. What else are we going to do? We're going to do some experiments, or not, are we? A bit late now, really, isn't it, for that? Um, any ideas? Do another question on your next live stream, and if no one wants them, if no one wants them, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that, Tom, on the next one. Um, are we up to date now? Do you want to what? Does it, is it going to get on when it comes out? Tom? I have uh... Do you want us to post them to you, Tom, or do you want to grab them when you come up this way? Well, not over this way. What? Yeah, it says you can do. It would be easier than posting Yeah. Them. Okay, mate. Okay, well. Have you ate your cake? I haven't got any, love. Why? I don't want any. Oh. Okay. So you're trying to make me sick with all the cake? Not Sorry. Sick. <laughs> hello? Hello, hello. I should sit next to you then, get you on here as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm back. Hi, Natalie. My proof of pen, yeah. I oh, know. They're good. Eyebrow hmm? proof of pen. Eyebrow proof of pen. They say, oh, it's all people say it all different ways, don't they? Eyebrow poop of pen. Eyebrow poop of pen. I don't know. I can't say it. I can't get my tongue around it. Sorry, do you want this? Sorry, just want to pass on the, the camera for a minute. No, talk, you talk to a bouncer. I'm just going to wash my hands. Can you see yourself on there? Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will have a little chocolate. He's all covered in chocolate. He's like a child. He'll need his hands wiping with wipes. Hello, Tom. Hello, hello. Like a child. It's like a child. I need them dirty, dirty hand wipe things for him. <laughs> it's neck in milk now, the dirty dog. Oh, Can't be it? having that. Oh, no. Stop it. I need. I know. He needs a bloody bib. Bib. What bib? Got a bib. Don't know where he's going now. Probably have to get in bed or something. 
<laughs> it's naughty. Naughty. Wet wipes, yeah? You're right, Dan. What? We need them. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. And a high chair, yeah. Me? Yeah, with shoulder straps to keep him strapped in. Oh, he's, he's up to no good. Huh. Hi, guys. Oh, it smells like the dentist. Hi, guys. <laughs> How you doing? If you want one of these masks, they're on... Uh... God, it's a bit tight on those. They're on... They're on Amazon as well, aren't they? But they're a bit expensive. Yeah. Dan's got, got one, I think. He's got ordered one. some. Dan has? Yeah. Or Tom? Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what I've got that on for. Sorry, guys. Yeah, if you can have it. You, you want the phone back for a minute? Some nappies. <laughs> some nappies. Nappy arse. No. Oh my god. Do you want to ask him if they want to see me have a little bath? We have to put a tune on. Oh there. my god, he's saying do you want to see him dance? Oh. I've got that now. You want to see him dance? It's got a funny yeah, I think we saw it when you were showing all, all yours. Your um what? equipment Tom. His his mask thing. They saw it early, yeah, I know. Yeah. I just want to show what it's like, Hans. No, Dan's same one, one that he's got. Alright. Dan's got one. Yeah. Yeah. Dan's got one coming this week. What, like that? Yeah. And Tom has a mouth and nose mask with triple filter. Oh, yeah. You need it, ones. though, don't yeah. you, when you're going in these sort of buildings yeah. with all that damp and, and shit. They want me to do a quick dance. I'd have to put a tune on if they did. <laughs> what size nappy do I use? I don't have a nappy. <laughs> Just women nappies. I don't have women nappies. I don't have no nappy. No, I don't mean them nappies. My pelvic floor's okay, thank you. Pelvic floor. <laughs> I didn't give birth naturally. <laughs> naturally. No. Who's that on the telly? It's me. I know her from somewhere. She used to live in Leeds. I know you're kidding. I know. I'm only joking, Natalie. Ricky right. wants to know if you want to watch him dance. Well, if you do, I have to put it on here. Tune. So let me find a video and see if I can get in the mood. For I know. It. I know, Tom. I know exactly what you mean. What? Time flies. I've not seen two minutes since I left school. I'm going to come up here. I'm 52. I'm going to come up here. Is that right? It yeah. Won't that, will it? No. Right, hang on. Keep it going. Keep talking for a minute. It keeps wanting me to talk. I think I should just put him on. No, but I've got to find this first. Hang on. You can flick the camera. And... I've flicked it. Have you? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. I'm just enough. trying to find a video. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you want to watch this quick, but I need to find a tune. Oh damn it! They don't really want to see me. Hang on. Well, they probably do this one. That's what I'm on it. Um, hang on, I'm trying to find this thing. Oh my God, where is it? Where's the history one? I don't like this on the tell. I never find it. Who's that on there? Oh my God, it's fucking all what a load of rubbish. Some of that stuff's really weird, isn't it? Just trying to find a tune, guys. Um, anyway, what? Well, ask them. Are you still on? Is it yeah. still on me? Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, do you fancy meeting Mark in, should we say, Feb? No, January sometime. Maybe in a couple, two or three weeks' time, maybe. Any, anyone want up for a little meet in a couple of weeks' time? I'm just trying to find that tune, but I can't find it. Where's all the dancing tunes going on in history? No, you need to go onto your music channel thing. Go across. Am I here? Playlist thing, right? I can't see if it now. Um, sorry, guys. Oh, I can't find it. Are you yeah. going to be free then, Dan? Over the next couple of Sundays? One of them Sundays? No, oh, I can't find it. Oh, Tom, you're not a body snatcher, are you? 
<laughs> Body snatching? No. But it says uh, it, you have to know dates, mate, as to know if if, right. if he's on call with work or not. Right. Do you have to go pick bodies up from hospital on that? Damn it, I can't find music. Yeah, I can't find music. Um, oh, is that meant? Oh, I don't know. It's I like could the same, I could put the same tune on. You don't have to watch that, do you? I could put that on and dance to that one again. Because I can't find the other one. I'll turn it up a bit. Don't be too loud. There's neighbours. It's quite past nine oh. nearly. Hey, mate, make a nice noise. Oh, it's going to dance now, look. <laughs> I don't know if they want me to dance, so they don't seem to dance, do they? Oh my god, Tom. Um, I don't know the dates. So, so we sort of like, does he have to have a date in advance to check? Yeah. Um, I don't know the mate, because it has to be hang on, let me have a look at the calendar. <clears throat> oh my god. I don't know where we are. Bloody hell. It's mad January, right. Oh, I've got hospital on the Monday. It's Jan January 6th, it'll be too early, it's not enough time, it's payday. That might have to be payday. <laughs> oh, this is an easy day to remember, Sunday the 13th. Sunday the 13th, guys. Would that be any good to anyone? Would that be any good to anybody? Sunday the 13th or the 20th? 13th or 20th. At the moment, I'll, I shouldn't be working, but if they say I've got coming, that's how I've got plans. So. 13th or 20th, maybe. Is that any good for anyone? Tom says PM me and I'll check check on my call, Rota. All right. Yeah, no problems, Tom. Okay, mate. What about Dan? Is it even one? Even 20th us? works better for Dan. What one? 20th. 20th? Yeah. We're trying for the 20th then, shall we? And yeah. then... Uh, think what I'll do, guys. Are you holding it? Have you yeah. got me on? Yeah. Uh, Could do with putting this light on. Hang on. We won't do this much longer anyway. I might have a little bug in a minute. <laughs> if it, um, yeah, we're trying for the 20th then. So I'll message you Tom and let you know. Um, I should be right with work anyway. If they try and get me work, I'll take it off. Um, do the farmhouse again. Dan's been there, he likes that. We'll try and get back in the farmhouse and then maybe come back here for a cup of tea or whatever. Maybe invite oh, to oh. me. And then shoot over to Hoot and Pagnall, which is the other side, the opposite way to from where we are. So that's another 20 minutes away from that, from this house, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hoot and Pagnell, it's not too far. It's a creepy graveyard and the old tower and stuff like that. It might be better. Depends if it's um depends what the time time scale is gonna be, isn't it? Now um <clears throat> I'm trying to think what's gonna be best. Hoot and Pagnell's good anyway, we try to do that. Um uh, maybe Wentworth first. Well we've got Hoover Stand as well. That's pretty spooky, isn't it? Yeah. There's not a lot there. It's an old um it's like a big tower, like a folly, ancient folly. Um, that's got a lot of activity in the woods, supposedly, but there's a lot we of can it out there. But we'll yeah, anywhere. It'd be Hoot and Pagla, which is good anyway, nice little village, I like that. And um, the farmhouse, I think, would be good enough for now. They're both pretty good, pretty good places, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try that then, shall we, guys? And that'd be brilliant. Sort some gear out, take with me. Um, yeah, sounds all right. <clears throat> would, um, I suppose they would be both travelling back, will not they? Will you both be travelling tra tra back the same day? I'm just thinking of how, the distance and that, because we don't leave it too late, do we really? Or don't that matter too much? Is it about what time we go? I'm thinking maybe like, it's, it's going to be light, it's going to start getting light by then, wouldn't it? Thinking maybe going four or five o'clock ish or something, maybe around five o'clock time. I think you need to get <clears throat> numbers, don't you? get Tom's number and then speak yeah. to him and decide, sort it out between you. 
Yes. Yeah, we do that. We sort some numbers out on that. I've got a um, messenger anyway. No. Yeah, sort some phone numbers out then, and then we can do that. We decide what's going to be best. I think maybe half, afternoon's okay for Petfield because it's, it's pretty dark in there anyway most of the time. It doesn't have to be dark, but it's just a bit better, isn't it? Um, yeah, okay, guys. We'll try and do that, if you like. Dan, can you answer that message that Tom's just put on? Because he's asking something about a SLS camera. Does it have beams? Does it have beams? 20th seems okay for Tom. Yeah? So far for him, yeah. Okay. And it's all right for Dan, isn't it, for that one? Yeah. Uh, does what have beams? Who's asking that? Tom. Tom's asking if it has beams. Yeah. What has Dan got one? No, yeah. Tom's asking about bringing it. Does it have beams? I don't think okay. they do, do they? Ours hasn't. What? Our SLS hasn't got beams, has it? The bloody farmhouse, you lunatic. The what? The farmhouse. Does the farmhouse have beams? Yeah. What, as in light beams or wooden beams? Wooden beams, I think, and poles. Oh, right, so he's thinking about what it's going to capture, like. Yeah. Because it picks up things, doesn't it? That way on that way. Oh, my um, God. I don't think it has, actually. No. It's so funny. Who? You. Why? I thought you meant like in light beams. Does it give off beams? I'm thinking, well, no, I don't think it does. <laughs> um, yeah. There's a lot of rubbish about in there, though, isn't there? So it could pick up. It's it got could... no ceilings. Well, damn sure. It's, it's got no ceilings to put beams on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting a bit run down now, isn't it? It's coming through a lot in place. Some bit's all right. There's a lot of rubbish. Sorry, I'm just there's, messing with it. There's a lot of stuff here and there. Is it still on me? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a lot of rubbish. Um, you zoomed in on me because I can see it on the laptop, you bugger. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a lot of rubbish about in there. How's it doing that? Zooming in on it. How do you do that? I went like that with my fingers and opened it up. Oh, right. right. I'm not even using the phone. Um, well, come on, if you're going to yeah, do Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of rubbish in that anyway, but um, it should be all right in there. The cellar would be pretty good in there as well. Mm -hmm. SLS, that would be good. And that landing bit, even on the st around the stair area. Yeah. Not too much rubbish. Be worth it. Be worth it, Tom, taking that. Be brilliant. We can decide what's going to be a false read anyway by looking to see what's there, can't we? Yeah. At the time. We can. But we've done it in here and it's picked up. Sometimes it's picked up cupboards, doesn't it? Cupboard areas that pick up like it's somewhere there. But it's good when we had that SLS stick figure on the back of this sofa, wasn't it, at that time? Yeah. And it was like moving its leg and I was doing a dance and it was dancing, wasn't it, next to me? That little figure. There's a little figure dancing like a stick. Yeah. Man it coppered you dancing, me. didn't it? We're doing that, that like movements and that. That was really that. weird, that was. Mm. Bloody hell. That uh, was crazy. Was. That was good, though. <clears throat> yeah, that's just all right. We'll probably, um, hopefully, that, that'll be on then for the 20th. Yeah. Shall we say around, meet up around? We'll sort it out later. Just sort all it right. out. You don't want people out world knowing, do you? What no, you're doing? Not really, no. We'll come to some arrangement anyway. It'd be sort of mid-afternoon, I'd say, anyway, around. Okay, guys, yeah, we'll do that. Cheers. Um, I think we'd better get off soon because it's... Oh. What's Lee Spinners? Who? What's Lee Spinners? Lee Spinners? This is going to tell us a funny story about it in Lee Spinners. Lee Spinners, I've heard of it, but I can't What is it. Lee Spinners? What's Lee Spinners then? Tom? Is it Tom or Dan? Who said it's that? an old mill. Tom. Lee Spinners, where's mm. that? That'd be nice to do that club factory, but it's getting in and out and that. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw that was weird. I thought I just saw like a black hawk. Where? Like it went across past the telly. Oh. I ain't got time for stuff tonight. I've got to be a early in the morning. I can't be having crashes. I just saw an old bastard now. Well, it black. It could have been it's great. It's an old mill not abandoned. I was with a paranormal paranormal group that did it. It's I think it's on my eyes, probably. It's what? An old mill? Yeah. These spinners. I see, yeah, I've, I've seen a video on that. Do you before. want this back or are you dancing? 
I could do a quick dance. Maybe want to see me. I might want to, not want to see me do a silly dance. Wants to dance. No, I don't. You're going to watch dance. him dance. He likes dancing. <laughs> you don't really want to see him dancing. He likes dancing because he's naughty. I'm not getting knackered. I don't want to see me dance, do I? I don't know. I'd have to do the same tune. Dan might want to see me dance. I'd have to find a different tune where he's dancing. Don't I watch him dance, Dan? <laughs> well, you want to watch me dancing live? Yeah, I said. Yeah. I'd like yeah, to do... I said dance. I'd... Hey? Yeah, dance. Dance. <laughs> right. I have to do it to the tune that's on the other video because I haven't got anything lined up in here at the moment. <clears throat> we ain't got a CD player, we've got that thing on the telly and that DVD player, haven't we? But... Oh, God, okay, I'm not going be to be able to dance. I'll show myself up. Oh, shit, I'm doing it wrong, are we? are wanting you to get up and dance, Dan. Sorry, I'm just flicking back to the... <clears throat> Don't want to watch the old video, though, do we? Don't have it on too loud. Are you ready, guys? Oh, my God, is it loading now? Can I turn the light down a bit? Mm -hmm. Tight dance in the lamp. Can they see me though now? Can they see me here? Can you see me? Oh, I've enlarged it too much. Oh, hang on a minute, I've messed with it. She's messing with it. I can't get it. Hang on, take two. Oh, right. I can't get it small. Oh, it's going big and small. Oh, my God. What are you doing with it? I can see it on the screen a little bit. Is no, it? you wouldn't, Dan. Give up. What? He said he'd start a landslide if he danced. He won. <laughs> it's mean, mad. What are you, why is it going in and out? Because I'm, I don't know. I can see it. I, can, I need to stop messing with it. I'm not fiddling with it no more. Hurry up, get your dance done and then we can crack on. Sorry. You're not right or not? Yeah, you need it on. You see me here? Yeah. You see my legs? I can see your legs. I can see your head and I can see your bloody feet. Don't have tree over. So near me, I can't. Look at them bandy legs. Chocolate cake, anyway. Oh, you I hope you enjoy that, guys. All yours now. Oh my god. I'm having a rest. Oh, shit. Whew. Ah, I'm missing the comments. God, I'm knackered. Well, brings up Callum. Calling for you, buddy. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Funny as. 
Rocky Billy rolls, mate. Yeah. Good old Rocky Billy. You've got better moves than me, Ricky. Oh, Rocky Billy moves, boy. Oh, sorry. I'm just reading a comment. Sorry. Go, Ricky. Go, <laughs> go Ricky. Go, Ricky. Go, Ricky. <laughs> oh. Start an answer. Oh, I think, oh. Oh, did you like that? That was mad, wasn't it? He's all in now. Oh, I am. <coughs> too bad. I don't usually like dancing in trainers, but thanks for that anyway. That's that bit done. Oh, give me oxygen. <laughs> I was all right a few weeks ago when I went and had my last dance. It's all this bloody Christmas cake and shit. I've been... All this crap I've been eating lately. No shit, he's all in, Dawn. Oh, are you all commenting on there now? I'm just messaging Stan. Cheers, Dan. <laughs> Cheers. <coughs> Cheers, Natalie. Cheers, Tom. Oh, we've only got four on in now, haven't we? Oh, it's all right. That's good, though. Bloody hell, we streamed for two hours and five minutes. Oh, that's mad. Here, here he comes on, Tom. <laughs> what, are you in a coffin? Yeah. Oh, dear. That was good. I felt better. I have to have a little dance every now and then. Oh, it's not too bad, was it? So, guys, yeah, that'll be um, brilliant if we can do a little meet up then. I'm trying to think of some other places in the meantime which aren't too far to travel, like quite local, so you're not wasting too much time travelling up and down. Bring a wicker basket. So my mum had one of them. She had a wicker, a wicker basket coffin, didn't she? She did. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, a little wicker basket. With a little daisy chain around it, bless her. Yeah, it's weird that we had to pick up these um these um things, these uh whatever they call them, dowsing rods earlier. <clears throat> we had Dawn's mum no sorry, Dawn's nan and granddad supposedly coming in, spelling their names out, weren't they? And bits. Um we had my mum and dad, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's weird, I've never had a dad come through on anything before. <clears throat> and also my granddad, George, came through. It's, it's like spelling out the names and that, going like going through alphabet and picking up these all these names came out, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Which is a bit weird. I don't know why they've all come through all together all of a sudden. Apparently my dog's there, my old dog's up there somewhere with them. <laughs> the old border collie, Mutley. The pets are there with them. It's weird, isn't it? It makes you wonder. But it's uh, all good stuff. What's this saying? I want a side oak coffin. I want to. You want to be buried? No. Oh. <clears throat> I was going to be created, but I'm not too sure now. I think I've got to want to be created in my will, but I don't know really. Do you know what I mean? I wonder if that affects the spirits. I know it's a weird thing to talk about, but I wonder if being cremated and being buried will affect the way you come back as a spirit at all. No, of course. Energy's gone, hasn't it? It's left. Mind you, mum and dad have both been cremated. They've come through. Uh, um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, don't want to be saying too more. We're talking about coffins and where we go, do we, really? Anyway, yeah, we'll do this thing anyway. Either way, your body remains on this earth. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Very interesting, isn't it, really? What goes on there? Oh. oh, I got my breath back. I think I'm all right now. <laughs> I'm all right now, guys. I'll try and give you a different view down there. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm glad you like all the, uh, the little bits of gubbins and equipment. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about a paracube, making another paracube or getting a box ready. Um, does anyone want a little paracube built? Just like a, just the box part, so you can put your own like bits and pieces in it. I wonder. I know that time. Um, bit shame. <coughs> you're here, you're here. Look, what you do at work? That'd be mad, wouldn't it? I would. <laughs> it's like morbid curiosity. I don't <clears> mean it in a having <throat> the pun. It's yeah. <clears throat> I know, actually, I know yeah, a lot of Billy. Cremation isn't ash. 
in a way it's just ground up bones and the skeleton oh. and that's all that's left when you have rotted away in a burial true mm. it's interesting isn't it there was a rock rockabilly guy down south from eastbourne he worked for funeral service as well actually she were brilliant that dealt with your mum once yeah you? they were good really was she called it a bed <laughs> yeah call it a bed we had a coffin it was a bed yeah i'll tell you no problem i'll have the whole lot built ricky as i wouldn't know what to... god it's been just not easy no you'd have to you better off showing him and seeing what he wants yeah it's not a lot to him but i've got to work out i did i did learn how to do the little um led um you got it oh positive and negative um spike things you know with the leds just like one of them they're easy enough to wire up um i haven't done them on my one yet i could do that probably put some of them on i don't know when because i've still got to finish mine haven't i it's a nightmare um i'll pay you for what the bits and time pal i wouldn't charge you a lot anyway um just for mainly for parts really but it depends what you want to put in them because some people run apps for them some other people run a ghost or spirit box for them just direct from a 3.5 plug straight into a speaker basically that's all they are really some have lights built and you can put lights in them you can decorate them with whatever on top really it's just your own thing um oh i don't know i've got a little copper Hang on, just go and grab it. Hang on. It's not a lot to mine, actually. It fell apart a bit the other day. Well, not fell apart. I lost one of my little crystals off the top, which I'm not too worried about. This is uh, obviously my... This is my paracube. Oh, God. This is my paracube. And I'll turn it... I'll turn the camera around a minute. Right. Yeah, so there's my paracube that you've seen before. Um, should we stick the light on? Sorry about this. There ain't much to this one. It's uh, obviously I've um, aged the box and everything. I got the box and messed about with it, aged it, and all sorts of things. Put some, drilled the holes in here. You can't see it. Can't see it there. I put a hole in here. Put this old like mesh in. To look like old speaker mesh that has um, started to rot and all that. This I got from another device. I can't remember what of an old radio, I think. Which, if I lift that off, there's a little piece there. Which you have just all that is under there is like um, an orange indicator, car indicator light, which I've fixed in there with a little silver piece there that I managed to find that fits that, which balances on there basically. It doesn't actually work as a switch, but it's more of a, like a thing for the, obviously, if we can get the spirit to put arrow to H for hello, yes, goodbye, and no. I've never had it turning yet, but you never know. Um, yeah. Hi, j and Hi, j and -M. Glad you can join us. Thank you for coming on. Um... Hey Tom, and you want to know? Right, yeah. Um, so I'm just catching up on comments. Can't get in trouble with them with the dops. Who's the dops? Cops. Hi, Joan M. It's Dawn, not Ricky, on here. Yeah. Yeah, Dawn's down. Dawn's over there. Oh, Dan, going. Yeah. Okay, Dan. Catch you soon, Dan. Cheers. Thanks for coming on, mate. Um, we'll get something sorted on the twentieth, hopefully. We'll you know. speak. Give him a ring. We'll give him a ring. Yeah, I'll give you a video. buzz anyway. I've got your number. Now. Give you a buzz soon. Thanks for coming on. Um, have a good evening and enjoy. Have a happy new year, whatever you're doing. Go catch up. Hopefully, catch up on some of your videos soon. It's just been a nightmare. Okay. Cheers, Dan. Thanks a lot, mate. Catch you soon.
Cheers, mate. Bye. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah, so that, that's basically that bit, Tom. I've got a coil here, which has actually got threaded inside that. It's one of them, like, copper LED-type wiring things running through a load of copper. It's not just copper wire. It's one of them LED things. That I've, it's, I think there's two, two or three lengths all rolled up in one there. These are crystals. What are these crystals, Don? What are these crystals called? Selenite. Selenite. This is white, or oh, I think it's white selenite, which is supposed to attract spirits as well. So hopefully the copper and the selenite will hope attract spirits towards this. All that is is an old 40s and 50s type um, valve radio thing that just just there for decoration really, that bit. That can pull out if I want to pull it out. I've lost a little crystal that sat in there. There was a little purple, I don't know what the crystal was now, the purple one. What's the purple crystal called? Amethyst. Amethyst, yeah, that's come out. It's, I lost. I think I lost that at Hoover stand. Not Hoover stand, at the other... <clears throat> The other place that I went, but that's a little crystal there. I think that's selenite as well. That's an older one. <clears throat> that they wouldn't, they're not connected up yet. Um, I keep swapping them around. They're going to be for the um static sensors, obviously positive and negative. Just why I mean, so it all depends on the way you wear it to the battery, really. Obviously, I've got the stickers on one there. That speaker hole I've cut out and just and these little worm holes to make it look old. I've uh, put all those in on there. Um. Okay, Natalie, thanks for coming on too. Thanks for joining us for this live stream. It's all been a bit mad, really, isn't it? So, yeah, catch you again soon. Thanks for, thanks for supporting us, and uh, you're welcome as a moderator. Thanks very much. Yeah, we'll catch you soon. All right. Cheers, Natalie. See you later. It's Happy New Year to you. We don't see you before. So, yeah, have a good one. Cheers. <laughs> Let's spin this camera around again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. If, is Tom still there? You too, bye. Thank you, Natalie. That's another hole there, just for a speaker outlet if you need it. And I've got this side, this side. I've just got another hole that side, the same. With a little bit of mesh put in there, which I've made there. On the back, I messed the back up a little bit. I cut a hole, but it weren't big enough for it, and then I, I, I ended up taking a big chunk out. But that's, that's you can see the speaker in there. It's just that easy access to the holes, really, but I was going to put a little wooden flap on the back. But, yeah, a little flap. Flappity flap. So you get to the speaker. All it is in there is the speaker. I'll just open it up and show you. There's not a lot to it. I've got to rearrange some of the wires, and there's little bits of wires and pieces in there. That foil and all that was helped to reflect the light. You can see it's, it's not excellent inside there, but this is my it's first. This is my little first um, project, really. It's a trial run. That's for the nine volt battery, which operates this light here, which gives me the beam under there. Put that little orange uh, colouring in there. Who's saying that? Tom, he's, he'll be saying that. Oh no, it won't be. I won't have all this in it. I wouldn't put all this stuff in it. I'll just leave all that just plain wood. I'd have to put the holes in wherever. You can have any style hole. Um, this this is a speaker that I actually use in this one. It's a Lin Tempo one you can get from B&M. That's all I use in that one. You can get ones with radio pieces. You can get a radio frequency you can build into it, which I haven't sussed out yet, which I'd love to do. But you can get a little radio frequency kit and build it in here. And obviously you can run apps through that and it'll work like a, a one of these Coltus box apps. But all I do is run an app, an app on my phone that I use, Coulter's Box app, runs through the cable, obviously into the back of a, the speaker. So it, it picks up the sound. That's all it is. That's all it is, basically, on this one. I've got, obviously, batteries in there that operate the light on the top here, which will operate these lights. I'll just show you if I can put that in. I was asking what app do you use? Um, Coulter's Box. Hang on. Hang on, let me try and get this out. Hang on, just fiddling around here. So I put the batteries in there for that one. That lights that bit up. So that's all that does. I've just got a Samsung. Well, it is an iPhone, isn't it? No, it's not an iPhone. Oh, it's not iPhone. Um, Samsung, what is it? I don't know what it is. 
Is it an, an S? Oh, I don't know. What, what model is this one? I don't know. Is it an S3? It's a couple of years old. It's just under a basic, basic phone. It's called the, the app. Yeah, this lights all this up. It's supposed to attract the copper and all the crystals are supposed to attract spirits anyway towards it. Um, these LEDs are just pushed in at the moment. It's a bit, I think, like dodgy wire on this. It keeps flickering. I've been taking it out so much, it's been beating up a bit. But the LEDs yeah, are up here. Android, Android, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess inside, and this back is. Uh, I wish I hadn't done that now, but I'd like to modify that a little bit. But I shouldn't, shouldn't have to do that anyway, normally. So that just sits in there, basically. Your wires obviously come through the back into it. You turn it on and off at the top here. Um, this is just a cheap speaker. You just turn it on. So you get, obviously, you can, you can have one with uh, flashing lights on, which lights up in there and makes it look different. And uh, you can turn the lights off on this speaker. Android. Is it what? That's talking about Android or... Android. Oh. That. Yeah, it's um I think it I don't know, I think it's just Android. Has he got an iPhone then? Oh he's got an iPhone, yeah. Um I could try and check. If you look up Mark Coltus, Mark Coltus, um C O U L Is it Col T R oh, T U S I think Coltus. I'll try and think how he spells your name, that's how it spells his name. Mark Col it's Mark Col Mark Coltus. I'm sure it's C-O-U-L-T-O-U-S, I think, but I'm not too sh sure about that. It's a Mark Coltus app on the App Store, yeah. Yeah, so I'm have a look on the App Store, Mark Coltus, and it's got a PS2 on there. There's a black one and a white one, but one of them's a free one. If you want to have a free trial with it and try it, I think it's a black-looking one on the picture. That's a free app that I had to start with. If you go for the white one, I think I paid something like three pounds something for it, three ninety five for that, which is a proper falling work. Yeah, on the on the trial free one, I think you only get so much time, then it runs out. Mark Coltus, is that how you spell it? I think it's C O U L. I can't. It's on my phone, so I can't check it, mate. I could check it, but I don't want to mess the live stream up. Um, Coltus, that looks about right. Yeah. That what you put there. I think it's spelt like that. Like Dawn's just put on there, spelt that way, I think. Um, anyway, I can turn that off. So really, basically what this is, is a speaker in the box, obviously with uh, battery power in there, if you need it. Obviously, take that out and take that off. I've, put, I've just put two batteries in it. I've rewired it so it only runs off two batteries in there. But you can put a little rate freight, obviously radio frequencies or whatever in there if you know how to wire them up. But I've, I haven't got that stage yet. I need to wire these two in and have them working as well. Nothing comes up. Oh, it's a bugger, isn't it? Shit. Uh, I wonder if he does it for... Um... What you can do... <clears throat> have you got... Um, I don't know if you've got a spirit box. Here a ghost box like I've got. That picks up pretty well. Um, what's the other thing I used? I'm trying to think of the other thing I used through this. Oh no, that was it, wasn't it? Ghost box, Coltus app. Obviously, you can you can even use the what is good in these actually. But if you don't get too, I don't know, one the other. You can use the voice recorder and play them back through it. That sounds good as well. And you can have it on record and hear where, as it's picking up. SB11 for anniversary in Feb. Yeah. SB11, mine's the SB7, isn't it? I've been told that SB11 isn't as good as a 7, but it's up to you. I've never had an SB11, so I don't know. I can't confirm that, Tom. But, um, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's worth a try. And I think they're both as good as each other, really, But at the end of the day. But that should be all right. Anyway, that, um, I'm just going to get... I'm just going to leave you here a minute. I'll give you back to Dawn for a minute. And I'm just going to grab this other box. Hang on. Can you take that for a minute? Can you get that for a minute? <clears throat> I'm just going to show you this other box and see if you might be interested in your
that. <coughs> you see me? Did you want to hold it or shall I hold I it? it I've got this one, Tom. I see I can't see if I'm on I'm in focus. This is one another one I was working on for myself, but I've got a hole there for a plug in it if you need one. For a jack plug to go in. I've got a hole there it's just for this is a bit tidier than the other one, look at that. It's a bit cleaner. It's just paper lined basically. With a little handle screwed in the top. Two little speaker holes there. A round speaker hole instead of the big one, because I think it looks a bit neater really. Um, it's all covered in lining paper of some like old vintage style paper inside. It's all pretty clean inside. Um, just had some battery packs. You've got so you've got the, a jack plug hole there if you need one. One there. I think the jack plug should just fit in through them. If not, just open them out a little bit. So if you need any wires coming out to your phone or whatever, or to your spirit box, play them back through it and it'll, it'll give a nice sound anyway. Gives a bit more bassy, I think. But if you use one of them speakers, they have a little built-in amps. I think that speaker I got on the other one was £9.99 from uh, b and <clears throat> But you can get a plain ones, or you can turn the lights off as well on the other one. If you don't want the lights coming through, you just turn the switch off and turn them off. But I've got that one, which I was going to... I was going to make that into another one. But I don't know if you'd be interested in that one, if you like that one. And obviously it's a lot, it's a lot neater than the other one. I might have to put my paracube on it. Just think I should put paracube on this one? I'll leave it. Yeah. If I put the paracube on it, Tom, if you don't mind, and um, if you wanted this one, maybe you could give us a shout out with the name on it, if you use it on any of your videos. And just to do a little plug for for me to sell a few, if anyone's interested. I don't know. But um, that's if you want this. Would you like this one? And uh, I can I can get a speaker, or you can get your own speaker and put in it, if you like. It's got all the holes, all the holes are ready drilled, and it's pretty much ready to go, really. you just got to get a... Yeah, but they do that one, if you don't mind. Yeah. Would okay. Yeah, definitely. Does he want me to get a speaker for it to fit in and that? The same sort of speaker? Discuss Do you want it the same? with him later. We can sort it anyway. Okay. If you sort with that, I'm not sure about the um, the static sensors yet, so until I've got to make sure they're working on the other one, I don't want to put them on this until I know it's going to work. So I can get it just basic with a speaker in it. If you want a speaker, Tom, let us know. As I say, they're only nine ninety nine, so I could get one of them. Just need a, a three point five mil jack lead, both ends. Um, I wouldn't want a lot for this anyway. I mean, it's a nice little box if he likes it. But does he mind if I put the paracube on it so he can give us a, like a shout? So it's like my I little branded name for the box. Is that all so... right, Tom? We'll sort something out anyway. <coughs> but that's that one if you're interested. Quite a nice little box. Who hey, right now? Just left Is it on? Yeah, okay, Rick, let me know how much you have spent, buddy, and I'll pay you back. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that cost now. That was like four ninety nine for the box, wasn't it? That five. A little bit of mesh what I've got from that. There won't be a lot for that, will it? And it is a nice little box, that one. It's a lot tidier. <laughs> a lot tidier than the other one. But it looks good. Um, I've got to put the it's all right if I put the paracube letters on there as well in the same style. It's the same style as these ones anyway. Like the old vintage style. So you'll obviously have them on the front of that. I do want you to put some sort of coily bit on there. If I can get some copper wire and fix the coil in here somehow. Let us know what you want on it anyway. Um, yeah, this is not picking up. What, for the coil as well? So much. Thank you so much. Well, if I'll get the speaker, I'll get the speaker, put a bit of coil on it so it looks good. Maybe a bit of, a bit of crystal for you as well, a bit of this selenite crystal, like I've done here. I won't put the LEDs on because they're a bit temperamental on there. Unless you want, if I can get them, and they are hard to get these ones now with a the copper. 
Otherwise, I'll get you some copper wire instead. Just plain copper wire through there if you want. On this one, going through into some sort of fitting. With a couple of selenite crystals in it. Um, and a speaker in it, if you want the whole lot. Pretty, pretty much the cost really, about 20 quid I suppose, I'm not sure, maybe, I don't know, it might be less than that. Five, speaker's 9.99, that's five for the box, that's like 15 quid, isn't it? 15, bit of copper and a bit of selenite. It'd be pretty much the cost price really, I'm not worried about time. Just going to leave it to your imagination. Alright, I'll make it look good. <laughs> if I can get some more of these, with the lights in, I'll do that. And I put a thicker copper wire in this one. Just going by experience with that one, really. I put a stronger bit of copper wire for cold round through there with the selenite in to attract like the spirits to that as well. Yeah, I'll sort something. No problems. Anyway, a big power cube. So if you can give us a shout out when I, when I finally finish it, when I get round to it. And uh, if anyone else is interested, it, it'd be like 30 quid or something upwards, maybe, maybe around 30 quid. Um, someone to be on. To put it to use. Would love for someone. To put it to use. Yeah, I've used this one, J&M. This one I'll use. I've been using that one. This is just the second one that I was doing. But that one I've used. I've just got to wire these, as I say, and I've got to wire these little sensors up yet in there. Oh, it's just sent, uh, Tom's just sent us a email address. Oh, that's not for him. That's well, it's put it on there, but hey, who's that for? I think it was for Jane M. All oh, right, for Jane M. All right. I'd love someone to be able to put it to use. What's that? Is it the box? Eleven thing. All right. Jane Emma giving him a SB11, I think. All oh, right. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. I thought you were talking about the box. Let me know how much is spent, buddy, and I'll pay you back. Yeah, I don't want nothing from a time, Tom, just for the parts. So it'd be like five, ten, fifty, uh, ten pound for the ten pound near enough for a penny aren't penny short of ten pound for the speaker. If I get the same speaker that one's got, so you've got option of putting. Obviously, you've got your pot. You can put your lights on or off then. So you've got. Yeah, I think you've got two speeds on the lights as well. It's Bluetooth speaker as well. So if you want to say, run some Bluetooth um, devices for it, you can. I think there's different speeds on this. That's off. There's a faster speed and a slower speed, I think. But you can turn it off or you can have it on or whatever. But I say it is Bluetooth. It's a good little speaker, actually. It's nice, isn't it, when it's coming through? It's a nice sound. Mm -hmm. So if you can't get the Cultus Box app, I'll try and look, find out some more information on that for you. Um, yeah, go for the ghost. Go for the um, ghost box for it. So that's all I use on mine, that one. I'll just show J and M some of my equipment that I've got here while I'm on. It's some of the stuff we were showing earlier. Some of our old radios and things, reproduction where that production one that I've converted. I can play stuff through back, uh, spirit boxes, uh, voice recorders, I can play back through that, um, apps of what sort, spirit apps or whatever. Same with that one. I use that, but I haven't used it out yet. Um, SLS thing, sensor, little sensors a bit. That's my hunting camera. That's Peggy Paranormal. That's one of my spare camcorders that I was given. Um, that's my night vision camera. There's me other Canon camera for daylight use mainly. Some night stuff if I've got a decent light. I've got the little light. I've got a larger light on that one. Now I use this one as well. This is brilliant. It's best light ever, that one. Uh, yeah, just don't forget that light, Tom. Check out that one. Um, Amazon, I think, is the best bet. Oh, mm, service. Oh, my God. Everything's falling over. Oh, my God. Everything's falling over now. What's going on here? Stop touching it that's, my, that's my homemade stand. Adapted that one. And I adapted the one for this one, too. Make them fit. Just some cheap... Oh, my God. 
Just some cheap some tripods, basically. I can't do this with one hand. All right, there you go. Anyway, yeah, just run that, run one of these, or an SB11, through that box, through the one of those speakers, and it'll be brilliant, Tom. Um, that's me, obviously, my thing that I had on earlier. Uh, sorry, guys, just putting that on. Just gonna turn this light off for a minute. This one hasn't seen it. It's just one of them, basically. That's what that one's doing there. This gives you the uh, effect on the walls for obviously shadows going past, spirit shadows on your. You, got me. you can see that. Shall I turn the other light off? Yeah, that's what it is like in the dark, anyway. Basically, and you can alter the pattern of it. You get all sorts of patterns on there. Yeah, that was about 15 quid, I think, for this one. Did um, Dan mention a ghost ghost supplies place earlier? Let me know how much you have spent, buddy, and I'll pay you back. Oh, I've seen these, haven't I? Investigating anymore. Oh, that'd be so nice. Does the speaker have a headphone part to play from? SB7 or 11, so they've had a few. What, play into it? Um, play, from. play from? I'm not sure about play, you can, you can play with... Hang on, I'm just trying to think actually. It's only got one in, it's got an in, obviously, and plays out through the speaker. Um, hang on, let me try and... Let me try and rig this up a minute. I'll just try and show you what this does. It's the same with SB7 or 11. I'll just see if I can get this speaker on and show you, basically. Sorry about what it's messing about. But that's that box. If I take the speaker out, because it's, it's just easier to show you then. This is basically what's in this. So that's the speaker there. That's me, uh, obviously that one. Obviously that one there. Hang on. Bear with me. I'll get that on. Just turn this one on for a minute. Uh, right, this is the speaker. Just turn on the back of this, this one. This this nine pound ninety nine. This speaker, which is quite good for the money actually. You've got Bluetooth on this as well if you want to run any Bluetooth devices for it. That's flashing because it's not plugged in yet. If I plug that one in there. You've got the port there, 3.5 jack in, that would be, wouldn't it? You've got the USB one there. Oh my God, that's loud. Sorry about that. That is loud. Right, there you go. Sorry about that. It's, uh, it wasn't sweeping. But that's all you need, really, I think. That's coming through there now. I think that's on maximum on that. Uh, it's sweeping on FM at the moment. Let's sweep it on FM. I can't turn this down a little bit. We've got the volume on the top. You can turn the lights off if you want. You don't have to have the lights on. Um, uh, could you get a flashing light speaker like your other? Could you get the flashing light speaker? Like this one, Tom. You want this one, yeah? So you've got slow flashing. Oh, you've got a faster flashing. That's off. And you've got a faster flashing speed uh, thing there. Which does look good when it's in there, I think. This adds to the effect, really. So I'll put that in there for a minute. Actually. I'll put that back in there. So I'm just messing about with that for a minute. Sorry about this. I'll just get it plugged in. I'm trying to hold it at the same time. So basically, that's the effect you, you have with it, really. Um, obviously, in that one, you ain't got such a big speaker hole, but it's still. I'll put it in there a minute and we'll have a look. Hello, uh, Darren. Hi, Darren. It's nice to see you on here, mate. 
So I'll just try and catch up with some of the comments. <laughs> oh, Darren's joined us. Uh, I miss half of these comments because they're not, they're not, they're not updating to the last one. Hi, Darren. I know I can't wait to see his face, Lavin. What's that? Got it, Tom. Oh, uh, brother. Uh, what? Hang on. Email, did you get this? So, JM giving him SV11. Giving Tom one. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you, JM. That'll help him out a great deal. Yeah. Have they? Yeah. JM are gone. Oh, bugger. And the LEDs are falling out here, look. These are only in temporary at the moment, so I'm not sure. So that's basically what it is, Tom, anyway. That's with the speaker. So, you want that speaker, yeah? Yeah, brilliant. So I'll do this. I'll put the power cube on, obviously on this box, because hopefully you can get a word round that I'm doing the boxes if you can. Cheers, mate. And um, do a little plug for me if you can, if you use it on any of your videos. Uh, thanks for that. So I'll get a speaker that goes in there. So you've got that. I'll put a coil on the top. I'll put a copper coil on it. Um, and some crystals. Whether it be the LED coil, I'm not sure. It might be better off with pure copper, actually, because you can always put some LED lights on it at a later date if you want to. But I've got to put a proper copper coil wire through there, attached in, in some holes somehow securely in there. Um, yeah, that'd be it. I'll just show you this, just try and get some different sound on this. It's a different sweep rate, obviously, on there. That's the slower sweep rate on that one. It is a good sound though, and that volume's down a little bit on there as well. I think I think it looks good. It looks the part, doesn't it? And you're still picking up what you want. It's nothing being fake for it. It's what it's actually what it's picking up. I can turn it up a little bit more. I think that's full volume now. But yeah. It's loud enough anyway for what you want. It's okay, so going now. Okay, Tom, you're off. Cheers, mate. Sounds good. Hey? Eh? Oh, no. oh, sorry. Sounds good. Bye for now. Oh, Jane Emma going. Cheers, Jane him. I think I missed that, didn't I? No, not me. Sorry, the comments aren't coming up to date. Right, yeah, so that's it. We got that then. So I'll get a speaker like that, put that in there, copper card on that, letters on there. Um, I'll see what else I can think of to make it look good. Stop kicking me off, ha ha. I'm not cooking you off. I'm not cooking you off. <laughs> I thought you was, I thought so I'll see you, and I thought, oh shit, go in already. But nah, it's alright, I'm not kicking you off, mate. We might have to go soon though, because we've got an early start in the morning, but... But anyway, yeah, that's that, anyway. I'm going to turn... Turn that off for now, save the battery. You can charge it, obviously, charge the... I said, mate, you honestly can't wait, Ricky, I'm truly grateful for it. That's all right, no problem. I'll just do it for cost, so it's going to be either 18, 20 quid. I'll get the copper from somewhere, I've got to get some copper wire from somewhere. Going on, Rob. Rob? Where am I going to rob copper wire from? I, when I suss these out, <clears throat> these um, sensors, they're quite easy to wire in, but I've got a soldering iron now and all that, so hopefully I can put some of them in, but I don't know yet. <laughs> also, mate, you can't wait. Honestly, that's fine, guys. Don't has bonus. Don't has bonds had some meat. What? Stop kicking me off. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, that'll be that. Um, let's take that out. So these are quite good because I like these because you've got the you've got the backlight on them as well. I think, I'm not sure if the other one, the SV11, has got a backlight or not. But they are good. And you see, that's how loud it is. That's full volume without the speaker. And it's it depends on it if it's on FM and AM as well. And, a pump, yeah, it's like a pump, but it attracts the spirits, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, these selenite crystals, Tom, 
like Dawn was just saying, they, that's like an EMF pump. It attracts spirits towards them for some somehow, some reason. Um, I can't work out the SB7, Dan, only work SB11. Can. Can I do? Oh, Alright, SB11. Yeah, these aren't too bad. I'm getting used to this, but I'm not sure about SB11. It should be good with SB11, actually. I think they're slightly bigger as well, aren't they, than the, this one? But yeah, that's that one. Now, I've, I've had a few things picking up through them, and I this one. Um, I meant can, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, all right. I'll try and sort that out. Um, I'll get you a speaker. Oh, no, that's she's a very small old oh, dear. Yeah, I'll sort the speaker out, put that in, sort of copper coil out, and oh, I do. I'll do what I've got to do with what I've got for now. You've got a nice little handle on this one as well. I like that. That's quite old as well. I can't remember where I got that off from. Put it off or something. Yeah, nice little box that. Actually, what I'll just do, try quick if I can, I can get a. I'm just going to try and see what this, see what this light looks like on that one, on the speaker. Hang on, I'm just fiddling around with it. I mean, this is just a prototype, basically, this one. That's why it's such a mess, because it's mine. <laughs> a little bit split there. Hi, Urbexy. We're just messing about with um, some gadgets. Just trying some bits in and out here somewhere. And I'll put that through there. Bring that cable through there. So that's obviously big enough for your 3.5. This is from Tesco's, this silver cable. I prefer these. They're nice. They're nice quality. I think they're about five or six quid, these cables from Tesco's. Hi, Urbexy. Hiya, mate. Nice to see you on here. Um, <laughs> so we plug that in there, obviously like that. I just want to see, really, I need to find it. Maybe I put a hole in the back for that. You can get some of an L shape at the back so it folds in better. This one might be a bit... I think that's one of the reasons why I cut a hole in the back of that one that uh, allow for it a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to shut on that. I'm just going to see... What it... oh, I still get a bit of light through there. I can't shut this one at the moment because I think if you get the cable... With the, the L-shaped jack plug on the end. I'll try and get hold of one of them if I can, but I don't think I'll be able to get one in time. But... I'll take the cable out for now, because we're not wanting speed, speed uh, sound for it. I'm just going to see what this looks like. Take that one out. Just basically see what this looks like in this box, really. I think that looks quite nice, that. I'm not sure if you'll get much from that. Obviously, no holes on that end, is there? Do you want some holes drilled on these sides? And sort of a bit of mesh put in there. Same as like I've done on that one. You won't get a lot of light through them anyway, but you'll get a bit. Because it's coming through that small hole. But if I put some more holes, maybe a, a hole there. And another little hole in the centre of that one. Maybe. Tuba, Urbex, here's my little boxes that I'm making. That's my that's my original one anyway. My prototype that I've been messing with. Um Yeah, let us know if you want some holes, more holes on that end. But like you said, mate, let yourself go wild, but I really like the lights coming through the front. Yeah. You gotta see it more from the front anyway, aren't you? So I don't I don't think you should overdo it too much. I think I prefer it like that. I'm just going to turn the light off so you can see it a bit more. Actually, that looks nice, that, doesn't it? I like that. That looks good. I like the lights on the top. I like this idea. That's much better than... It's better than that one, I think. That looks cool, doesn't it? I like that. Look at that. <laughs> that's mad. Well, that's a basic idea what it's going to look like. At least you know. Darker the better. I don't want too much light. No. Okay, mate. I think time I've got the copper wire and that and a couple of more little bits, gadgets. Try and, I don't know what I'm going to put on it. I'd say about 20 quid. Is that all right? 
I mean, it's, it's like, I love the darkness. <laughs> I think it looks good. I mean, it's 20 quid. It's pretty, it's pretty much cost, isn't it? I think it looks good. I like, I like that way it comes out the top. That was nice. A little copper wire in there, and that hopefully that'll pick up a bit of light on it as well. Can't believe how much she chilled out over time. Who's that? It's on the back. Bonnie's down there. Bonnie? Yeah. The oh, the cat? Yeah. Give you 30 quid. No. It's up to you, Tom, but it's going to cost me around 20 quid anyway. Yes, yeah, I'll make it nice. I'll put a nice coil on it and that. And some crystals. We can get some more selenite crystals. I've actually got some selenite crystals down there, but I think we want them ones, don't we? That's selenite down there, actually. Underneath that. We can get some more selenite, can't we? Hopefully. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. What is the device inside? It's just a... Basically, it's just a Bluetooth speaker, mate, that, that inside there. And it's quite, quite nice inside, this one. And you can turn that. You can if you don't want the light, you can turn it. If you don't want the light, I think it looks good with the light myself anyway. It's just a speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker. That's all it is. Um, I'll turn that. That's just where it's trying to pick up a Bluetooth signal. But once you plug your device in, that'll stop flashing anyway. Yeah, it's just a basic Bluetooth speaker. That's all it is. It's £9.99 from B&M for one of these. It's uh, in tempo make. I think they're really good for the money. They've got a nice sound to them. Yeah, so um, if anyone else wants them, I don't know. It depends how much work I put on them. It'd be like 30 quid upwards, I think. <laughs> to anyone else. 35 quid upwards, maybe. But obviously everyone's going to be unique. They're not all going to be the same. They all have their like unique design to them. So uh, that's just some other gear on there that I'll show you now. Just in case anyone's interested. This radio is pretty much the same thing, but uh, I can't open it. Mate. It's got a speaker inside that one as well. It's not a, not a flashing speaker. It's just a normal Bluetooth speaker built in that one. Does the same job but i've got no lights on that one that one's got that lights up as it should that's going to have a bluetooth speaker in it as well when i finish it so yeah they're just different things i'm playing around with at the moment so that's it then yeah that's another little job for me to do then <laughs> keep you busy yeah oh gosh and they are charged we just plug them in and recharge them on the usb Who's slippers <laughs> they're not mine so that's that and that's the other one that's my one i'll see my little bit dangly bits come off there if i've got any more i don't think i've got any more of these but i don't think you've got room i think it'll spoil it if you put too much on the top of that one no i don't think i've got any more of these switches i would have put one of them on but i think it'll look good as it is because it looks quite basic and old looking i think it's like it's a bit that's all right, Tom, don't worry. I'm looking forward to doing it for you. I like my little little projects. <laughs> as I say, I was going to use this one and have that as a, my original prototype because I was going to use this myself, but I've got a couple more boxes spare that I've got to work on anyway, so but you can have this. It's nice. It looks nice and solid. It looks actually got a look. I think it's got the um, um, Dibbox, Dibbox box look to it, I think. I think it, that would be, be a nice effect if you didn't have to keep getting in and out of it. And you could like wax seal it a bit. So it looks like a, an illuminated dibbit box. <laughs> That'd be cool, wouldn't it? He needs to sort me another workout. <laughs> yeah, I know, I've got to do that as well. Busy, busy. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, well, well that's it. That's all sorted. Um, we're going to have to yeah. go soon, aren't we? Be on for t Bloody hell, we're coming up for three hours. Sorry about all the mess everywhere. I'm trying to stand this up, but it won't stand. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Yeah, all these are just like little 
They're just cheap tripod stands that I've um, just adapted a little bit for phone stands or whatever from the cheap shop. I think these came from Tesco's, but they haven't got them in at the moment, have they? They're just cheap one pound tripod stands converted. <laughs> I'll try anything, anything for a laugh. Oh, so yeah, that's that. Yeah, looking forward. I'll do that for you, Tom. Hopefully, it'll be a nice thing if I can get it done for when you come down. I'll try, I'll try my best. Do that for the K2, yeah, it's easy enough. Just um, the little silver bit on top that springs up and down. I think I took the springs out on that one. But I've done it before for a voice recorder once as well. Just um, just bend the, the metal piece what sits that angle, just bend it flat. The pliers, it pliers on it, or get it in a vise and bang it around with a hammer or whatever. And all I've got is a little hand band, hair band. Hair band, are they called? Hair bubble. bubble, hair bubbles or hair band. Well, have a look. Jade might have some lying around. <laughs> don't, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Yawning. Is that you reclining again? Reclining again. What well, I use electronic development kit called R. Uh, Oh, Junio just found out a lot of people are using it to build EMF detectors. And that, oh, that sounds good. I think they're the kits. Are they not the ones that pick up the uh, radio waves, uh, Bexy? Instead of having an app running for it. They're quite expensive kits, some of them as well, aren't they? I was thinking about doing one of them myself, but it's a little bit confusing. The trouble is, is my eyes, I, I can't see like I used to, and I try and solder little bits and pieces and that. I've yeah, instructed. You, you need Darren's goggles, them goggle things. Yeah, and goggles, stuff. Darren. They're good. They, I like them. Well, that thing, that magnifying thing. <laughs> I've instructed my torch in the phone holder. <laughs> Yeah, easy enough to convert them little things. I said I got them from Tesco's, and you know, in some of the Tesco's, they have a little one pound section of cheap bits. I'll be waiting to get some more, but they're all Christmas craps in there at the moment, and and they moved all the food around a bit. So I think they come back in stock. I might have to get a couple more. I think I've got about six in total. I think I think they're scattered around all over the place. Place um, them little bits. Yeah, eBay's wow. finest Rick, mate. What's that eBay's? What? I'm missing half of this. eBay can be a gold mine if you find what you're looking for. All right, yep. Yeah. Oh. See, it's knowing what to use in it and how to solder them all up. But if they're a kit, I know, um, I think it's um the one who's done my camera. What's the camera called again? Infrared. Infrared, yeah. What's the thing it's done to it? Full spectrum. It's full spectrum, yeah. Infrared, who do the full con the conversions of the cameras and all that and video. I bought that record, uh, video camcorder off of them. It was converted already. Um, I think they do kits. I, I tried to email him for a price and didn't hear nothing back. I think they do little kits for these um, boxes and that. But I think they're quite expensive. You get them from the Japan quite cheap. I know that. Um, this is a can help you with electronic side of it, Richard. Hey, eh? Darren can help you with the electronic side of things. Get a pair, and send them down to you personally from eBay. I'll get you a pair and send get a pair. Yeah, it's going off now. His laptop, all right. Laptop's dying. Let's plug it, plug it in there. I don't want to come off it now. I'm tired. Oh, it's coming I'm off. I'm sit next to you now. Dawn is coming off. I think we've got to go soon anyway because we've got early start, but um. I was just trying to catch what Darren said. Can I help no, you with the electronic side? Really All I'm right. This. Cheers, Darren. Yeah, if you can. But um, I ain't got a clue. My eyes are so crap. I used to love doing little electronic bits and trying to. All right, with things I can see. But page panel exploration, creepy small panel over gear. Yeah. <laughs> Open Facebook page. Yeah. That'd be a good idea, mate. How can we do that and mix it all in? I don't know. Facebook page, Panorama Exploration, Creepy Explorers, Paranormal Gear. 
and little, little um, yeah, gear and gadgets, gadgets. Paranation Gadget <laughs> Company. I don't know. That's an idea. We could, you could probably you can do joint pages, can't you? In you and Yvonne and that have one. Yeah. A little joint page once. Yeah, what's that on there? Hey? What's that lot? I don't know. Oh, the little LEDs have fallen out of the box. <sighs> the LEDs. Oh, gosh. I've got these LEDs off of eBay. These little LEDs, the red ones. I've got them in packs of 10, red ones and green ones. They were cheap. They were quite cheap to buy. Just got them a little while ago, just for Christmas, didn't I, really? Mm. Hello. Hello. Hello, there you are. Tired. My eyes have gone tired. I know. Tired. My We've been eyes. on for three hours now. I can't believe it. My eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> I love an open page of paper. I oh, saw that bit, didn't I? It's just repeating itself. Oh, uh, I make, I'll make Ouija boards and other items. You make electronic stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can make us a Ouija board. He says he'll get you no. some of them magnifying glasses. Well, let, let us know. I'll send his link. Oh. Look at him. I'll send him money. What, a pair of them? Is that what he's on about from eBay? Yeah. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're well worth having, aren't they? Send them to you. Oh, Billy Highland. This is live stream has been going for on for ages. <laughs> it has. You joined us back again. I wonder where you were. I know, three hours. I was only going to do it for an hour. We've been talking about all sorts of mad stuff. I'm coming off soon anyway, Billy. We need our bed soon because we've got an early start. Nice for you to join us back. The electronics call making my own PCBs. Bloody hell, you must know what you're doing. What's PCB? I don't know. I've heard of them, but I'm not quite sure what they no, are. I've actually, what's PCB? What is PC? It's something with computer boards and something like that, maybe. You make a group, add me to it, I'll add you in it. You make a group, add me to it, or I add you and put each other's as admins. Oh, right, so you do it. All right, when I get paid, Ricky, I'll make you a Ouija board if you like. Oh. If you can get the stuff. Get what stuff? When I get paid, Ricky, I'll make you a Ouija board. A wooden Ouija board. Printed Thanks. circuit boards. God, I wouldn't know anything about printed circuit boards. I've got that old radio over there. I would like to convert that into like a something for um, paranormal, but I wouldn't know where to start. I've got the old radio bits. It's a reproduction type old radio that I put, showed you over there on that table over there. Oh, where are we going? I'm going the wrong way. Over there anyway in the background. But it's got all the original radio bits in it. It's not obviously 50s, it's a modern one. And transistors and all that. But I wouldn't know where to start with that. Um, printed circuit boards. Bunsen burner, torch, wood saw and stuff. Ah, right, yeah. Burn it all in. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That sounds good, Tom. How would you do, do, do all the letters? Have you done them before? Sounds good, burner, doesn't it? Not, yeah. You could do one with paranation exploration if you like. <laughs> I'll buy it off you. Yeah? We could do a deal, we we'll do a swap. <laughs> I don't want it out of old coffins though. Old coffin, old coffin wood, yeah, even better. Tom, I vintage. don't want it out of old coffins. Yeah, vintage coffins. <laughs> I'd love that. Vintage coffin wood. Nice bit of old oak. What are you doing in my head? Oh my god. I can see better now with these glasses on. Thank you very much. No, Lowell, I'm sure you can get letters in metal to heat up. Sure you can get letters in like metal. Like branding. Time. Like brand them on, yeah. That'd be good, wouldn't it? We've done that one with transfers, haven't we? These silly yeah. glasses. Um, yeah, we've yeah. done made our own transfers and done that other board. That one there with just a... I don't know, it was a bit of plywood, wasn't it, I think? I can't remember what it was for you, sir. Hello. You look like my sister. <laughs> She's got glasses like that. I haven't got down. a sister really, but... Yeah, up south down family. Um, sorry, we're having a mad moment. I'm getting... My eyes are getting a bit sore now. Yeah, that'd be good, Tom. You have to... Oh, God, what's that reflecting? That must have been that. I've been seeing things. I've been seeing orbs in here now. 
Oh my god. Shut up. I have been crashing and banging tonight. Right, I'm so tired. I'm right now. Yeah, so uh, let's be serious now. Come on now, stop being silly and just be serious. <laughs> okay, right, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mad. Um, I've got to put these back on to read now. I'll see what I can do, no problem with coffins. They are painted in some of them. They easy to go up in flames. Ah! <gasps> so, <laughs> cremation, so I don't want to end up... But I get the letters. But I get... But I... Oh! It's just if I get the letters in and... Go on, you're doing flames. Oh! Going up in flames. Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus, that what they do paint inside of it so they're inflammable. <gasps> Jesus. God. That's mad, isn't it? Suppose they don't douse them in fuel, in paraffin. <laughs> so that's like what they use on the coffins. Bloody hell. Jesus. That's why they have to, really. Otherwise, they'd be waiting for it forever to burn, wouldn't they? No wonder they go up like they do. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> God. Interesting though, isn't it? Real good yeah. stuff. Yeah, Billy popped back on again. He did. <laughs> She's been on with it ages. She'll be in bed, Billy, and you've got school in the morning. <laughs> Bless him. Thanks for coming back. And we've got four in the house. I think we're going to have to go soon. Um, yeah, we'll have to sort out an idea for a, a Ouija board, won't we, at some point, with a new name on it. I don't know yet. I have, to, I have to draw a design and see what it comes out like, Tom. Do a little, little rough design and have a look. There's a crown near here. It's in the dead centre of town. Dead centre of town. That's a good... It's, a, it's in the dead centre of town as well. God. I don't do school no more. Got kicked out. Oh, you naughty. Well, you could start your own YouTube channel then now, mate. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't. I didn't like school either. Didn't get kicked out though. You gotta go. To... Oh god, what's this? Make them look nice and shiny if you're right. Not inside. No, it's outside. Goes up through the shit. Sheer heat of the oven. No flames need. Bloody hell. <sighs> so what's that first? Thing? Not inside. It's outside. The coat of a lacquer. Makes them look nice and shiny in funeral homes. The ovens are preheated to 800 degrees. God, so, so, so as soon as the door shuts, the coffin goes up in flames. I wonder why it's cutting the bits of the message off at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. People that work there reckon it's a grave undertaking. <laughs> oh, I can do it, bother. It's messing about, isn't it? It's mate, they couldn't get him in a coffin because they couldn't. Who? The con uh, Who's well, him in the coffin. His, his friend died not so long since he was at funeral. And they had to they had to take him to a different crematorium because of them weren't long enough for him to go in. That's bad, isn't it? So he was six foot somewhere. Couldn't they cut him in half? Yeah. <gasps> what? <laughs> I suppose not. You but you think they might... No, but they would have done because if they're gonna create him anyway. That's disrespectful, cut him in half. Well cut the legs off or cut the feet off or whatever. <gasps> No. No. That's not nice, is it? No. You think they would do though, wouldn't you? Just oh try and fit them in. Too tall a six at six in a half foot. What? I'll be watching. I'll be waiting by your car. Isn't it care? Too tall at six foot in a half foot. Six and six a half foot. Six foot. and a half. Bloody hell. You think they'd cater for taller people, though, they, wouldn't they? Yeah, to go to the crematorium, they couldn't get him That's in. That's just bloody silly, isn't it? We're trying to shove him in and they couldn't get him in. <sighs> I'll be waiting by your car, Sherlock. Thanks, Sherlock. I think you're still sitting on the passenger seat. It better not be. That's my seat. <laughs> I know. His spirit's there. I'll be waiting by your car. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm six foot four. Are oh, you, Sherlock? Really? No, you're not, are you? Sent to Newcastle. Newcastle, Newcastle Crown. Six foot four, really? Sherlock, are you that bloody hell? Well, Roman's six foot three. <sighs> I think. I'm five foot twelve. 
11, I mean. I've got 12, that makes me 6 foot. Five foot 11, am I? <laughs> My fat five foot. You told me, you told foot, me seven. it was five foot nine. No, I didn't. Never said nine. It did. And you're four foot frigging two. Four foot two, you, you silly brother. Midget, I can't I'm four, five foot seven, I think. Six or seven. Heavy people. Heavy people. God. God, there will be a few out there left to hug them about. What? It's Tom. <sighs> Bloody hell. Can't imagine that. My Uncle Joe, he was, how old? How old? I don't know how old he was. He only died a little while, didn't he? He died not long after my mum. He was bloody nearly like six and a half foot, wasn't he? Mm. He oh, was my, my Uncle Joe, he used to live in London. Um, him and his mate used to do TV adverts on telly and a few drama things set in like Victorian times and all that. He worked as um, like bodyguards on these old Victorian film sets and stuff like that. And um, God, pick up my last one of day. Thank you all. 29 stone. God. <sighs> in the hospital. He's 38 year old and he's 29. Oh, that Lucky is so hour. sad. Oh. It's young as well, isn't it? God. Did you have an that's, acid that's heavy. You probably did with that weight, I would have thought. God. Yeah, oh, my uncle worked till on films and adverts and. Um, his mate, they used to work on Covent Garden Fruit Market yeah, when they were younger. <sighs> Bloody hell. Yeah. actually ate his body off because he ate greedy eating, do you mean? Just oh, ate compulsively. Maybe. Just keep stuffing and stuffing. That's bad, isn't it? Mm. Oh. What's the same about my uncle? And about your uncle, Jim. Oh, Joe. His name Joe, his mate was Dave Prowse. I don't know if you heard of Dave Prowse. He's been on the adverts, but more 70s, 80s and 90s, I think. Or 80s, I think. He used to do like a Green Cross Code advert as well for the kids back in the 80s or 90s. And he's done lots of adverts and tele adverts for different things, like when they wanted big guys and that. And my Uncle Joe used to do it as well. And also this Dave Prowse played his silly brother, played a, one of the parts as... Um, oh, silly. You're doing that funny mouth then. What are you doing? Um, just my lips are sour. He played it. Um, he was dressed, not played the part. You know, Darth Vader in the uh, Star Wars advert. Darth Vader, yeah. How did you know that? How did you know that? Played Darth Vader in the early Star Wars films. How did you know that? He was, see, he's hot on that. That's what I want to say. Darth Vader, he played that on the earlier films. I don't know they got on the later ones. <laughs> have I told you before? I think I probably have, haven't I? Did I tell Darren before about it? I don't know. No, I don't think I have. Unless I've mentioned it on air before. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. So much fat in his arteries, it caused polymer cardiac arrest, basically mean a heart attack. Bloody hell. Oh. God. I know you. I know you know. Yeah, Dave Prowse, he's my, my Uncle Joe's best mate. They used to do weightlifting together down the gym. What? They used to go down the gym. What? What? Oh. <laughs> So we're all right now. <laughs> Dog fight. Um, yeah, used to do, they used to go weightlifting together down the gym and keep fit and all this crap. Uh, embarling him. Oh my God. That was Does he have to do all that time? <sighs> Don't you have to do all that Do you that do that as well then? Two dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Don't get near us. We'll bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when that tooth comes out, that's it. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh silly old. Good. <laughs> so, well, Tom, do you have to do all in bed? Sorry, Tom. As well, Tom. Sorry, everyone on there is watching. A bit of help out. May dress up in a coffin then. A bit I help out, but mainly just a bit. Coffin. God. That's interesting still though, isn't it? It's, it is, so it's like interesting. morbid curiosity for me. I can't cope, it frightens me. Embalming, imagine that. That'd take forever, wouldn't it? It frightens me. I'm, I'm, God, I'm I can't a imagine scary it. scary pants. Scary, scary. Any I spirits in the room? I don't do what? Are there any spirits in the room? I don't do it proper. I just help giving them tools. They need, if it's a... Uh, No, it's a person. If it's 
If it's an if person. If person. A bigger person, maybe? Yeah, quite, quite just help giving them to them. If person. <laughs> Sherlock. You must have been silly bugger. You're funny. <laughs> It goes with mince pies. Don't you leave mince pies all over my seat in that car, Sherlock. It better not, because I can't have crumbs on there. I can't have any sticky mess in there. We're not having it. I don't know that sticky stuff on the seats. That's nasty. No stickiness going on in there. Sticky <laughs> seats, Ricky, will be answering questions. <laughs> Should we go, why is it saying all sticky? Who's been on it again? Oh what have you been doing on it? You need to turn that off right now because it's too loud. Who's that on there? It's you. Oh my God. Well, I've got to turn the telly off of there. Well, we're going to have to call, call this uh, a day soon, guys. We've got, the ghost five, of mince pies. On. We've got five on now. Oh. Another one's come on. We're doing well. I can't believe how long we've streamed. And the ghost of mince pies. You, know, you do realise we missed DNA to paranormal live stream. Okay. Oh well. They didn't mention it's going to come on to ours, so I don't know. We'll catch up on it soon, hopefully. Every deceased someone's is mom. someone's mum. It's true, is that? Um, I don't think as much as possible. Oh, bless you. You've got to do, haven't you? No, I know. Yeah, they all belong to somebody. Oh, someone's always part of someone's family somewhere, aren't they? I tell you, I admire you for doing what you do. I really do. I know. I couldn't do it. I'd get too involved. I'd be too upset with it all. I'd be sat outside rolling with them. Spirit box, Sherlock, ha ha. Spirit box, go to mince pies. Spirit box. How can how can I ask you questions when I'm a ghost? Spirit box. Yeah. You have to ask through spirit box. Yeah, that's what he meant. Yeah. Spirit box, show up. That's what I do. They communicate through the spirit box. One of these type of things. Hang on, oh, Sherlock. Oh. You have to communicate through one of these. If you're a ghost, okay. Oh. I'll just turn it on again. They probably won't hear it. Yeah, it's nice. Just train the spirit box, quick. Well done, Mr. Explorers. Hang on. It's very quiet. It's just really quiet, isn't it, actually? Sorry. Okay. Let's just, we can't really hear it on here, eh? Monkey. Monkey. Monkey, monkey cake. Got our chocolate monkey cake out again. Well done, Mr. Explorers. Am I, why is this not catching up on the... Anyway, that's his ghost box, spirit box or whatever. It's very quiet through here, I don't know why. It used to be louder than that, but that's probably, I don't know. Anyway, turn it off for now, sorry. That's the, that's the uh, SB7 anyway. PSB7. Put that there. I'll just want to catch up on it. Night, have a new year. I'll, cheers, Billy, and I'll catch you soon. Hopefully, I might see you around where I work. Uh, have a new year, and I'll be waiting for your new video. Cheers, Billy. Thanks for coming on. Don't forget to tell your mates about the channel. Uh, spread the love. Night, have a new year. Cheers, mate. Sound like something from Ann Summers. What was that? Forklift truck. Oh, I didn't see that bit. Um, Cheers, Billy. Thanks for coming on. And uh, we'll do some creepy explores for you soon. Cheers, mate. Tell your mates and sub to the channel. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> we had a by same person. It was a burial. The whole was a free normal site. Bloody hell. Across to fit the coffin, it was like a double wardrobe. As they are built different. And we had to lower it in using the full lift. <sighs> Bloody hell. So it's out something for Man Summers. And Summers don't have forklifts, do they? <laughs> Darren. Ask me about how long I'm not going to call. Okay, will do. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Billy. Ask Darren about how long I'm on the cob. Corn on the cob, Darren. I've just been asked to ask you about corn on the cob. When did Dan go? Dan's, Dan's... I went here to go because one of the kids were up and. Oh. Were... Oh, right. No, oh, bless. Night, Billy. Okay, we'll do, thanks. Depends on how kinky the person is, lol. <laughs> God. That's mad, isn't it? 
Hey, hey, cheeky, she's saying, he's saying. About corn on the cob. No, horn on the cob. Eh? Horn. Horn. Horn on the cob, she's saying, I think. What's a horn on the cob? In the car. Huh? Sherlock's saying in the car. What car on the cob? <laughs> I don't know. Call the Sherlock box. Call the Sherlock box in the car. Call the car. Yeah, I'll talk to the car and I'll get the spirit communicating from the car into the into the ghost box. Is that what you're saying, Sherlock? I'll take it out there later when I've got more time. I'll take the ghost box into the car. I might do it tomorrow while I'm at work and lunch break. And see if I can communicate with your spirit that's in the car. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Cheers, mate. <laughs> we'll try it anyway. Anyway, I really must go soon. Um, I keep saying that. I said that an hour ago. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. It's been a bit, a bit different, isn't it? Um, oh my god, what have got here? I had a network rail job doing picking someone up. Oh my god, jump in front of a train. We get £48 each removal. We do out of hours. We couldn't find half of <gasps> couldn't find half of him, so I said my mate, I hope they don't pay us half the corn out fee. <laughs> <laughs> That's naughty. Just just for finding, for finding half the body. Oh my god, the rest of the rest, the other half must have been stuck on the front of the train, Tom. Fucking hell. We get £48 each removal. We go, uh, uh, pay him half the money. Did they pay you half the money? <laughs> Dark humour we have, ha huh? <laughs> Yeah, I know, but you got to see the funny side of it. It's the only way you could cope with it, really. you got to you gotta have a sense of humour in some way, in dark sense of humour or whatever you call it. It's, but that fellow that did that, that, that person. It gets you it's through the it. Family, isn't it. Yeah, even that person. Yeah, they could have said, "Oh, he's only half price," couldn't they? Really? Did he get away with the kids coughing then? Did he get away with the kids coughing then? Dawn just said. Well, it was just a matter. We call it on the train. We call it on the train. The other half of him was in the bushes. Oh my god, matter. Half of him was in the bushes. Was some bushes? Was some where foxes possibly have him now? Ah, oh my god. Still full coffin. Yeah, I suppose it's got to be really because you can't. People would be suddenly saying, "Well, why is it? Why is it only a small one? If it's a small one, aren't they?" They'll be questioning it. You can't say, well, there's only half a body in there, can you, really? Nobody really what? It goes on width also. Oh, that's interesting. Bloody hell. I don't get some weight, so I've got a big double wardrobe for me. Double wardrobe for you? No. You're not that bloody big. <clears throat> big enough. I need to lose some weight. What back on my diet? I can't tell you a for... Oh, I'm getting tired now. I'm going to have to go in a minute. I am. I'd like to say thanks, Tom. Thanks, uh, Darren, if you're still there. Um, we've got three on now, so I think... Yeah, Sherlock's happy, happy still new year there. to Darren's, you, Sherlock. Sherlock's still on. Happy New Year to you all. Yes. All of you. Each and every one I'll of catch you. catch you all very soon. Thanks for all joining us. And uh, it's been great. No, it was just on that. Oh, I saw that. There's the train in the back of the bushes. Goes on whip. Yeah. We also have a guy with one leg in and the family. Okay, then the family will keep his fake leg at home. So we have to make him a leg. Fuck those. How? Ha, ha. <gasps> Rolls of newspaper. Family wants to keep his fake leg at home. Why is that? Well, he just put it with him. It's part of him. So we have to make a fake leg. Newspaper. Pack his trousers out with some newspaper. Stick some pork chop legs up there. Pork out. chop joints or whatever. Oh, they would be long. They'd last long enough to. Well, it costs you too much to get some pork, don't they? Wouldn't it? Darren's still there. No problem, mate. Have a good night. Have an epic new year. Don't forget to check my life. 
Yeah, we will do. We'll check it. Oh, uh, God. Tomorrow night, I think. Hopefully now. It won't be a bit late now, will it? Check it tomorrow time. We might watch we'll catch it a couple before we go. Yeah, it might actually. Yeah, I think, why not? That's, we'll watch it tonight, Tom, yeah. Because it's, what is it? 10 to 11. I'm tired. I'm tickling. Some family do it. Family do it strange. Keep, I suppose it's a part of them, the memory of them, isn't it? Anyway, be nice to take tea. Oh, my God. I ain't got, you can't take mine. I ain't got many left. We, we sent my grandma because she died at home and she always had a vest and her knickers on to keep her back warm. So when she went, I had a nightie. I had a nightie. Sorry, set. I was just trying to see where the camera is. The camera's that end, isn't it? I was trying. A nightie, sure a vest, that. and her knickers to keep her warm. Oh. Did she keep them with her then? Yeah, she had them on under a shroud. Oh. A nightie, she was ready for bed. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Anyway, take tea for also. Bloody hell. We had this guy who. Did, Wife died a while ago. Oh, he's back on his wife. What was that? Uh, sorry, just catching up again. Wife died a while ago. She was the first one in the grave. His wishes was to face down. So he was always facing her. As he didn't want his back showing to his wife. As he was never turned his back on his wife. Oh, kind of sweet to be fair. Oh, it's in sick life. Yes, sir. Oh, oh! You well, don't think a... of things like that, do you? I tell you, I need to have a cup of tea with you, and you need to. I need to. It'd be telling us all on air by then. Kind of sweet. It's good. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Or a cup of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> a cup of coffee would be nice. <laughs> <clears throat> That's good. Interesting. Anyway, we've got to go. Uh, we'll watch that video now, Tom. We'll catch up on that. Thanks, Darren. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Uh... Speak to you soon, Darren. But he's gone. Thanks. I think Urbex, he went early, didn't they? They all seem to have, like, there's only two on here now. Yeah, yeah sleep, sleep, well. sleep well. Can he like? Oh. Can, 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 can he? See you, Tom. See you, Darren. Uh, catch you soon. Thanks for being on all this time. Three and a, three and a half hours. It's done really well, near enough, yeah. Cheers, cheers, Tom. See cheers, you soon, Tom. mate. Bye. See you later. And I'll sort that night box for Jade. you. See you later. Yeah, night, Jade. Night, all. Night, Darren. See you later, Darren. Bye. See you later. Later, parinators and explorators. Night, guys. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, bud. See you later.